Are you sure? Yes. Nope. Well, I am, so... We're gonna dive in. Yeah. Have you guys seen the, uh, the Detroit... the Detroit Urban Survival Training videos? I've seen Detroit one of them, yeah. Urban Survival Training? Yeah, so, like, there's... there's these, like, videos where it's a guy who's like, Hey, so, if you, you know, like, get... if somebody, like, has a gun at the back of your head, like, here's a... here's a strategy that you can, like, implement to increase your chances of surviving, and, um... It seems like the general takeaway is that these things will probably, like, not work. Um, if strategies. someone has a gun to your head, you do exactly what they tell right. you to do very slowly. Yeah, exactly. Some of the ones I saw, he was just like, you do this, 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 and it just requires the other person to not do a thing at all. Well, yeah, that's the main through line of all the videos, is like, the other person goes limp, basically, the yeah. second that you make any well, that's a lot of these, them. uh, that's a lot of, like, kung fu hustler types and mm -hmm. things of that nature as they rely on people to just become puppets <laughs> and not yeah. resist you when you do all of your stupid horseshit maneuvers well so so uh, a lot of people have started doing memes about it and um a lot of the memes are as soon as they make any attempt to block the gun uh they're just in heaven all of a sudden <laughs> like just in heaven and looking around like ah, oh, damn it it didn't is work. that a Family Guy joke? Is there some cartoon that does that? I can't remember. It feels like a familiar structure, but it's a great one. Yeah, like, as they go to do something, they're just in heaven, like, oh, right. Instantly. It's like, I guess that didn't work. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. All he has to do is pull that trigger. Well, yeah, so the first one that I saw was basically, uh, imagine that somebody has, like, a pistol, basically, like, in your chest, like, they're holding it in your chest. And so, he, he says, like, so what you need to do is basically, with your reaction time, you reach your hand up and pull back the slide so that he can't shoot you. Um, That's a really dumb thing to do. That's insanely uh, dumb. Well, yeah, so the thing that is immediately pointed out is, okay, so if the guy pulls back the gun, which he is naturally going to do, the slide is now back in the firing position. And plus, like, you're not going to... Yeah, he's not going to let you do that, and the slide on a pistol is, like, dep depending on what kind it is, like, that's that's tough to do. Like, it's... I figured, like, yeah, a lot I figured of, that would be the big thing. Like, you and can't, can you do like, that before he pulls the trigger? You know? No, you can't, because you have to grab it, then you have, you have to, to be real get a fast. grip on it, push it back. Not only that, you have to push it back so far, he, you have to resist it. Because if you just hold it limp in your hand and you push the slide back, your other arm is moving back. You have to right. you have to hold the gun in place so that you can move that slide back. And let's say that you successfully move the slide back. If he does anything, the slide's going to snap back into position and exactly. you've accomplished nothing. Except if you successfully push killed. the slide all the way back and then let go, it will simply chamber the next round and you've accomplished right, so very little. Yeah, I, I, and this is all assuming that he doesn't even shoot before you can do this. And he will. Well, yeah, yeah so... Yeah, when they say don't move, and then you move, uh... Yeah. <laughs> someone else happens. Well, and also, someone, if, if, yeah, if, if, if when someone's holding you up for a gun, too. probably gonna be a little antsy and mm. nervous themselves. Yeah. Well... So people say that they're a meme, but I don't know that they are. I think people are making memes out of it, but I'm not sure that the original one is a meme. Well, there are all kinds of martial arts instructors and self-defense people, because that's what people do to feel cool. That's what people do to feel like they're very important and they're very badass and tactical. And so they try <laughs> and do these things that make them feel like they have some kind of knowledge or expertise when they've never been in these scenarios. I, I think part of it is a power fantasy that they want to so live. Like, in I'm really glad that you said this because I was thinking this, but I didn't want to say it, <laughs> that it feels to me like wanting to play hero and like action hero, case, big yeah. man sort of thing of like when in reality a lot of the time your best option is just, I don't know, like... I, I feel like trying to grab the gun and slide the chamber back is just a really bad idea. It's like actually one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. 
I just don't know. I anyone who's ever held a gun I'll send before you the video. can tell you that's a dumb idea. I would love to see this video. It's so stupid. Rags, react to it on dog bites. <laughs> Yo, yeah, I might. But yesterday, I found the perfect video to respond to. It is. I was gonna do a dog bites on it, but because all, all my like my new art stuff's done. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna like practice a bit with it, uh, you know, get used to editing with it. Um, then I'll use this video for dog bites. And then I got like two minutes into the video and it was so wonderful. I'm like, no, we're main channel in this bitch. Is it like- and It's like 10 minutes long. And it's not like one of those research heavy kinds of videos where you have to explain things in great detail or whatever and get references. Is it a video so, essay? No, it's, uh, oh, are we live right now? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me, cause I don't know if I want to. I'm 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 not gonna spoil it, mm -hmm. but it's it, it's not typically something I do. But I I was having the time of my life watching this video. Like, let me just say, I think I found Brown Table's long lost brother. Okay. You know how to defend against a striker fired weapon. He looks exactly like I imagined. That's amazing. He looks exactly like I imagined. He's he's got a name badge on. He's got fingerless gloves. He's overweight. He's wearing that. What's he wearing on his? It feels his, like he's, he's wearing piece. Like Robocop, which I guess makes sense if it's Detroit Open Survival Training. But it feels like something that somebody would be wearing in Robocop. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, just, just wanted to say as well that this is our, uh, Super Chat catch-up, and, uh, as of seven minutes, we are behind by 14. Oh, God fucking damn fantastic. it. Fantastic. So well, you know what? Great. This is, this is, this is anomalous, though, because this is right after Christmas, so Earth. this is the first thing we've done since the, since the, yeah. Jesus' birthday, and so... I'm sure he's in chat. You know? He isn't. He is probably in chat. He's in all of our hearts right now. Uh, he's not very old him. yet. I was, I was actually um, going to say, since it is us three that we're getting together for Boba Fett, um, we could do that tonight. Or well, my tonight, anyway. Oh, right, of course. Um, if that means, uh, you know, ending catch up an hour earlier or whatever, I'm still on board with that. I just need to know when you guys would want it, would need it, you know, how to fit it in. Uh, I maybe. mean, I'm, I'm okay with either this or tomorrow. That's, that's fine with me. Yeah, both fine with me. Oh, it just means that if it's recorded earlier, it can be edited earlier, you know? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm out, I'm out for it. Sweet! Now, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're up to 15, so, uh, I guess we'll just start. Alright, let's, let's <laughs> press on. You say press on. <laughs> Begin. Yeah. Um, yes. In No Way Home, do you think the villains would still die being sent back if they now knew how they would die? Depends. Yeah. Um, some people, there was like a meme where they did the thing of as soon as uh, Willem Dafoe disappears, like fades out, that they port him in and he gets killed by the glider. And it's like, ah. It's like, yeah, maybe. Maybe that happened. I can't remember what he said I, in terms of what was the last thing he saw. I would imagine that that is not what happened, I, though. Well, a good reason to doubt it is that his suit isn't covered in like dust and, you know, debris. Yeah. And he's not all sweaty. Um, and so at that point, we just assume, yeah, it's going to be before that. Um, and the thing is, when you said I had Spider-Man in my in my hand or my grip or whatever, um, I was trying to think of all the times that he does grab him by the neck in in Spider-Man Two, and I was wondering if there were any more than just the one in the finale that could apply. But yeah, we just don't know really. Uh, been replaying Star Fox 64 for the billionth time. It's baffling that there hasn't been an actually good sequel yet. Please, Switch, save me. It is honestly bizarre that we don't get sequels to Star Fox 64. We just keep getting variations of remakes of Star Fox 64. It's, it's like, kind of bizarre. <laughs> and, 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 like, Star Fox 64 is very similar to the original game as well in terms of, like, the places that you go to and what's happening. But man, I totally agree. Can we please 
Zero was a bad idea. You shouldn't use it as an excuse to, like, write off Star Fox as an IP. Please make more. Look at how much interest there is in, like, Star Fox fan content, like a fox in space. That show is awesome. The reason why people are so invested in it is because people are invested in, like, Star Fox as an IP. Just do something with it. Um, yeah, I never actually played any of the Star Foxes, I don't think. Only really? briefly. Yeah. You should play Star Fox 64. It's, it's a good one. Uh, it's mm. a good old, good one game. Uh, Star Fox Zero is, um, like, they they did the thing where they're like, let's, let's use the Wii U gamepad as, like, a second screen. And, my god, is that game, like, so really awkward to control. Mm. A little unreal that everybody agreed that that was okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi Rags, would you rather be known for your cunning or your coming? Hmm. Probably, if I was known, I bet a lot of people you know for their cunning, it's not positive. Like they're just a, just like a, a, a backstabby kind of, you know, shrewd, guileful. They're not very, like an unsavory kind of cunning. Because generally when you call people cunning, but you don't mean it with negative connotations, just say, like, clever. You know, or he's mm -hmm. quick. Um, yeah, like we call Jack you Sparrow don't generally, cunning. Yeah, you don't, you don't generally... If you call people cunning, it has very negative implications. You know, or at least a negative, you know... It, you know. So... I guess the latter. Alright. Star Fox is the only IP I'd like them to keep Miyamoto far away from. Interesting. Well, it's because the the dual gamepad aim and second screen, that's where you view through. That was his idea. Okay, sometimes he misses. Um, that's fine. Well, <laughs> like Star, yeah, Star Fox so, Assault? No, no, no. Zero. Oh, I never played On that the one. Wii U. Yeah. Um, Miyamoto is... Uh, he... Because the reason why there are no F-Zeros is because he doesn't know how to make, like, another innovative F-Zero. He feels like they've done everything they can with that, which is, like, missing the point that a lot of people just want GX again. Like, they want another ver another uh, iteration of that style. But, like, Miyamoto wants to try new things and do new, like, gameplay. And, and it's really cool. It's one of the great things about him. Uh, just is incompatible sometimes with certain series. Then again, I'm pretty sure he's also the reason why, like, Paper Mario at this point is no longer an RPG and is, like, now sort of this, uh... Like, a lot of people don't seem to like what Paper Mario is now. That's what it used to be. Hmm. Uh, hello, Mulder and crew. Hello. What movies are y'all looking forward to in the next year? Mine are The Northman, Red Panda, and The King's Man, and Batman. Um, Look, Kingsman's I'm already out, isn't in... I don't know anything about Kingsman, but Batman, I'm interested in seeing. Mm -hmm. Mission Impossible Batman is 7. not a Kingsman. He is a Batsman. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He is. I'm, um, I'm very interested in the Northman after the trailer. Uh, yeah, I am, uh, I haven't seen the trailer. It's by the guy who did The Witch and, um... What is was it? it? Uh, I think so. I thought it was by the guy who did White told me. I was told... Oh, someone told me it was by the person who did The Witch in the Lighthouse. So oh, I'm I like, didn't realize... Okay. Did the same person make those two? Holy shit. Because uh, if that's the case, like, fuck. Well, yeah, just... <laughs> you know? I actually recommend right now, if you guys check out the, the Northman trailer... It, Robert um, Eggers? It's very, um... You watch it and you're like, yeah, I'd like to see this film now, please. I haven't watched the trailer yet. It's I, got I, I will, but Yeah, he did... Yeah, he's got The Witch and The Lighthouse. Damn. Damn. Yeah, so there's no reason not to see The Northman then. <laughs> so, I definitely want to see The Northman. The Witch was fucking insanely good. I love watching The Witch. That shit is suspenseful. Um, but yeah, so... That's where our anticipation is. I'm not anticipating Doctor Strange 2, but I am interested. I'm a little worried about that film. Um, and then 
I guess it'll be Thor and Guardians. They're our, like, hmm. Guardians yeah. is 2023. Well, yeah, I guess it'll just be Thor then. Oh, I said Mission Impossible 7, that's coming out next year. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Uh, Fringled Plushy Wen. Well, if we're doing these a year, then you can expect one probably in just over half a year, presumably. E? So, it'll be depending on what, what we get out to. Um, why? I am a fan and was serviced hard by No Way Home. I haven't been serviced that hard in years, and I'm here for it. Hi, I'm Orla, Rags, and Fringle. Happy 2022. Yo. Well, we still got a couple Yo. days. <laughs> but, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was, it was, it was fan service isn't always a bad thing. It's execution. I don't think any of us would deny that what is in. No Way Home is fan service, but execution matters, you know. Yeah. Um, thanks, Disney's luck of the Irish. Now I'm the only bloke in the world with a thing for women slowly turning into leprechauns. I know, I've checked. Um, women turning into leprechauns? To be honest, I don't know yeah. what I'm referencing for a Disney product, but alright. Yeah, it happens, man. Mm hmm. They I ain't just, judging, I just. They just. Hmm? That's what, they kiss the Blarney Stones. Have you seen Disney's Luck of the Irish? No, I haven't. Hmm. Is that racist? I or... don't know, maybe. Bewilders me that people are trying to defend No Way Home's terrible plot. I love the movie, but it gets worse and worse on further analysis. Also, watch Arcane. Well. It would just depend on what parts are being defended, because we've defended the plot. But we've also Yeah, it depends on... Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of plot issues, but a lot of plot stuff works, so... Huh? Mm. It depends. Yes. It depends what is being defended or what is being attacked. Uh, the movies in BOTW can burn me out like Feeders 2, or bum you out. The movies in BOTW. Oh, Best of the, best worst. Of the worst, yeah. They can bum you out. the last one was weird. Um, the, the, the Christmas one they did? That one felt really weird to me. Not bad, just you Remind weird. me, what, what did they cover in it? Because I'm pretty sure I see it. They, co they covered Feeders 2. They covered... Um, uh, Jeez, they they covered the the Hulk Hogan Christmas thing. Oh yeah, and they covered some other video. Well, so when you say weird, what do you mean? I don't know, it's unusual. It was just felt like it didn't feel like the rest of them. Well, it felt didn't they? I just wasn't that the one where they like almost say this has been shit at one point and then. I think I, th I can't remember which one it is that was recent. Where um, and then like Mike makes a whole bunch of jokes about something, and they go, "You're single-handedly saving this episode." I think. I don't. I, I don't know. I as much as I've seen them, I'm, I think there's been a couple like that. Oh, the forklift training was funny. Was that the new one? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Forklift training. Oh uh, yeah, I just can't remember enough because I sometimes they blend together a little bit for me. Yeah. Um, potatoes. Also, because now a handful of other people have asked me about it, the highlight videos are still private instead of unlisted. Whenever you get the time, I know you're busy. Um, I still need to fix all the playlists on Moolah as well. Uh, so things will be done. Um, I'm trying to think of when, because I need to do like a whole overhaul of all the playlists. Um, but yeah, um, thanks for the update, and potatoes, indeed, yes. Mmm, those are good. Mmm. If held at gunpoint... Oh. Wait, was this one else? Or... Nah, I don't have anything. <laughs> uh, if held at gunpoint, fake a heart, heart attack, and draw your gun. Well, yeah, I mean, that's, mm. that's, that's a, that's a proven strategy, right, from Pierce Hawthorne, the winner of paintball works 
did work, uh, did he do it twice? He did it twice, yeah. yeah. And it worked each time. But then again, those that was because those people weren't, they were just playing paintball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's more serious. Uh, favorite Star Fox 64 level? For me, it's Zones. Um, I need to refresh my memory of Star Fox 64 levels. Um, I, th hmm, I, um, I'm, I can't remember them well enough, honestly. I need to replay it. Someone in chat said, why did you never release a video on an Avengers Endgame? It's like, well... I won't need to. Soon enough. And by soon enough, I mean at some point. Yeah. Maybe they were wondering, like, is there was there anything about in-game that made you... Because I guess you did you did the uh, Infinity War praise, and mm -hmm. I guess with, you know, it being the end of the whole phase, and with us on EFAP, you know, why, why it was never... You know, I guess they were wondering... I would if, imagine is there that... Any reason why that had I put a video out... On the day it, I saw it, a month after, or even three months after, that it, the analysis would be lacking. Because we've discovered a lot about Endgame the longer time has gone on. Um, mm -hmm. And so I like I remember thinking that I just wasn't comfortable with making the, the video, and I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to say overall. Because um, I was a little conflicted on it. I'm not really conflicted about it anymore. Me neither. Sometimes it just takes time as well. Sit, yeah, sit with it, think about it, and then you might realize, oh, oh no, <laughs> it's really not good. Y'all gonna rip into Matrix? I just, could you imagine asking Fringy, Fringy to watch that, Rags? Wouldn't that be so I mean? don't really care to watch it. It's yeah. just like the, mo we almost bailed on it. Yeah, I've, we were, the closest I've come in a long time. It's about we were about 30 25 minutes in something like that and we were just we were really close to just saying we want to do something Enough. else yeah well yeah i get i get the impression it's not going to be like funny and it's not going to be that interesting no, to think about it is so, very yeah. interesting it is the quintessential unnecessary sequel that should have never been made mm -hmm. which is just funny considering it's the matrix <laughs> yeah it it's is. A just so unnecessary and it does nothing and there's there's i can say nothing positive about it nothing is good the acting isn't Man. good the fighting isn't good the world building isn't Most, good the, the fighting isn't good for a matrix film man it's terrible the whole thing is just bad yeah but it's self-aware right so it's good oh it is very very self-aware Kind of tainting, tainting the concept of being self-aware, honestly. Um, and it's kind of funny. It's it's another one slotted in. Like a lot of movies that come out when they have, they're like incredibly divisive. And this one, I don't even know if it is that divisive, but there's still some people saying they love it. Like, what is it this time? Subversion. Is it the you didn't get? Oh, what it's you what wanted, it has to it? say. It's the allegory on society. It's self-aware, and you didn't get it. It's so self-aware, it strangles you with how much it's <laughs> sucking its own cock. Like, they- I mean, you don't have to see the first Matrix, because they play half the damn movie in this one. That's unbelievable. Like, I, I can't believe that that's a choice that was made. They just play so many clips, they, they leave absolutely- they have no confidence whatsoever in your ability to memorize what happened in the previous movies. And they don't even try to, in a creative way, give those events back to you. They just play clips from the movie. It's great. Well, there's not going to be a Matrix 5. No? Fucking hope not. But I doubt it. It could end up not like Terminator well. and Predator, where they don't do well, and yet they still get fucking sequels. Well, yeah, because Terminator ain't dead. They'll come back and try again for that one. They'll be back. And now with Predator, they're doing that movie Prey, right? I guess at least with that one, it's like, well, you are putting it in a very different time period. That's kind of cool. What time um, period? It's set, uh, so I think it's a uh, Native American uh, woman, like some, I don't know what time period, but like, you know, before American 
uh, colonization, like European colonization, fighting like a predator. A predator. I think that's oh. like the gist of it. Um, that seems. Cool. I hope. Be, I hope he severely kind handicaps of. himself. Well, yeah, I guess there's that problem, right? Is like how well, it, like if you've got all this technology and the Ooh, other person doesn't, like minute. look at how well the guys did with guns. Why like, would he do know? that when his goal is to collect autism? Well, maybe you again, this that one will establish that that's a. I, I, I'm almost certain they will completely fucking ignore that and they'll uh, just go back well, to being. Well, because that was a terrible idea <laughs> that no know? one likes. <laughs> Let's do I it. we discuss we discussed once potential predator movies that you could make, yeah. and we had discussed uh, a crusade era um, uh, predator where you ha you have a a crusader and a Saracen who become unlikely allies against this demonic threat that they see as a religious That's really demon. Cool. That's an idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, they're it's the like, survivors well, of a battle. We all agree where... that this is messed up, right? You know, like we disagree yeah, like, on some things, but like this. Yeah, you know? I like the idea of or or um, you have an island. It, it 1944 or something like that. It is in the Pacific War. You have a, an American pilot and a Japanese pilot. They crash on an island, and they're away from the war now, and they're just stuck together. And then there's a predator that's fucking hunting them down. And so you know, I like this idea that, you know, you have unlikely heroes or unlikely, um, like, allyship allies. emerges uh, as they try and fight this thing. I think that could be interesting to do. So Well, I, I guess that's the thing, right, is it's, it's kind of the reason why, like, this is an idea. It's like, that's kind of neat, like, setting it in a very different time period. It's like a big change from what they've done before. I, but again, it's I like want to see him fighting them with right. swords and maces and like have, using armor and shields to fight this uh, as predator because predators yeah. have you know they're big into melee weaponry and things like that. So you could pair them off against a against a knight or a man at arms from that era, and it could probably be really really nifty, really cool. Um, yeah. And with the I level so. of technology and the added religious element of both of these characters are religious and they believe in satan and demons and stuff and they're like this is clearly a fucking demon sent from hell obviously that is what it is and we both we both don't like those so we need to get our shit together <laughs> we are both yeah, that, that, that's the thing that would that makes it kind of a cool dynamic the further back you go because now it's like oh this is an alien like it's an alien from space then. using technology which is which is really cool but you you give this to someone from you know 1100 AD or whatever, and I mean, they're like, just this like isn't an alien. this is this clearly, is like a demon. This is yeah, a demon. That, Look at it. it's clearly a demon. Or some monster of some kind, like some folklore yeah. monster. And then maybe the folklore develops, and you can see that, and that there are like traces of uh of of history with the predators. That if you look close enough, you find it. <clears throat> so much the series could be so yeah, much but, uh, but, or they uh, could discover uh, an ancient city underneath antarctica yeah what well, is, is it the facility from resident evil uh retribution no this is way <laughs> lamer <laughs> that would be fun though if you took the, the umbrella facility under the ice and just let a predator roam around and just get his take on all this horse shit <laughs> Well, yeah, it's like, um, oh, jeez, I'm going home. This is nuts. The AVP movies, uh, especially the second one, they, like, play with the Predator being our... not protagonist, but a point-of-view character. kind of. Yeah. Which is really strange, but... I wonder how they... I mean, they depends. just discard that completely. They're all bad guys. In what, sorry? In AVP 2, they're just all bad guys. They just totally discard that. What do you mean? In AVB 2, like, the aliens and the predators are all just, like, eat, they're just killing everybody. No, it's, um, it's more POV in the second one, because it's like a predator that's sent in. We watch him in his home world, and then we watch him gather his stuff, and then he enters Earth. And then he, uh, Oh, looks... I must be totally forgetting that film, man. <laughs> they even have a moment where he does, like, detective work. I remember thinking, like, man, this is, like, the most we've ever had Batman. in terms of watching our predator do stuff. And we're, like, on his team. Right. Well, it's because we don't care about the human characters, do we? No, the humans are all yeah, very but... thin and shit in that. But the aliens are, of course, just evil, evil, evil. Not that they shouldn't yeah. be, but, you know. 
I guess it's wow. You have a lot of room uh, to make them interesting and unique, and they all have like you could have predators who all have different personalities with how they tackle combat and how they treat humans and how they you know like oh you're a you're a very you're a very brave noble warrior is like ah yes you you have earned like living even like you're just so the, the fact that you're even doing this is very impressive and i'm very well, impressed with you and the other one's like oh yeah you're gonna die an honorable death and the other one's like nah you you, you deserve to live i was about to say that yeah i think that's a cool idea let's see different POVs, like, what are the approaches of different predators? Maybe you've got predators who are, like, who will, uh, maybe you've got more duplicitous predators who kind of cheat uh, to try and trick the other predators and to look to think about how cool they are. Like, they will use underhanded strategies to win, but then you have another predator who's, yeah, super honorable. Yeah, it could be experimental where you, uh, you have them speaking every once in a while, but you never get subtitles. Yeah. You, have to gather See, what's you just happening. have to think about what they're gonna, what they're saying. Yeah. Fringy about death of the author. It's the same thing as arguments from authority fallacy, uh, as in how makes an argument is irrelevant to its valid. I think they mean who makes the argument is irrelevant to its validity. Well, so I kind of agree. I think uh, I think the problem is argument from authority gets kind of complicated, right? Because like if somebody asks me a medical question, it's like I don't know, like a doctor, I just defer to what they say. It's like, well, argument from authority. It's like, well, I don't know anything. <laughs> like if there's somebody who does know it's, about that, it probably would be that person, right? Like I have to rely. It's not true because it's not true because true a doctor because said, said it, it, but a doctor is probably more likely, more likely to give a correct exactly. answer. Exactly. That I feel yeah. like that's the big. Like, the logic would be that, presumably, the person whose position you're adopting should be able to argue out their position without just saying, well, I'm a doctor, so believe me, right? They'd be like, well, da-da-da-da, this is how the, you know, this is how the body works, this is how your heart beats, and then this is, you know, da-da-da, and then they could actually argue it. And, and I mean, depending on Chris the argument at the time, if I said, like, they clearly did this, uh because they wanted to recreate the scene from the original or something. <coughs> then someone goes, no, the director said they didn't. And I'm like, appeal to fallacious appeal? It's like, well, no, I mean, we're literally talking about their motivation. I don't know where we're else we're talking about it. their motivation, right? As opposed to, because Death of the Author, we're generally talking about like what is in the, the story, yeah. right? It's like, this doesn't work. I was like, well, the director intended for it not to work. It's like, okay, it doesn't work. <laughs> like, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> like, it's just not helping me. It's the Matrix. But yeah, I kind of agree that uh, Death of the Author is in the same way you're like, well, yeah. it is this person, so my stance is correct. It's like, that's not how... You well, that's sort of... Twin Perfect does it that way, I guess. It's uh, Whatever the author said it was is what it is. It's what it's meant to be. Uh, yeah. I, I... Huh. Uh, what Pokemon would you want as a pet? Go on a little adventure with. Ah. Oh, honestly, it's probably just gonna be Meowth, so I could talk with it. That's a good point. What about I think Lugia? I, I think I you can like... talk to it and fly around. I don't know what, which. I don't, wait, I Lugia, thought Meowth was the only the... one. Could... Oh wait, Mewtwo can talk, can he? he I feel can. like Mewtwo, Mewtwo wouldn't put talk. up with my shit. I thought Meowth is just like perfect, because a Meowth Bands would. Yeah. yeah, like a Meowth isn't gonna look at you I and like be like, that, I'm so way. much yeah, fucking better at you. Patented and friggy I'm, term. I'm not gonna fly off to space with my psychic powers and rule the world or some shit like that and create some magical bullshit island. A Meowth is gonna be like, yeah, I just wanna hang out. I think a Meowth is gonna have interesting things to say about the world, too. He'll see something and be like, now wait! I'm, I I don't know why I'm thinking of like Gilbert Godfrey. <laughs> like, what, Dude, what Gilbert Godfrey like? as a Meowth would be amazing. Well, yeah, but what did Me Meowth had a little bit of that, like, what what is that? It's like kind of like a New Yorkish kind of thing, didn't he? You know? Yeah, like, sort of. I think so. Meowth, like I'm Meowth, and I, you know, and I talk like this, like is that? Yeah, I know what you mean. Done, yeah, because right? he was like, yeah, w when he was with Team Rocket, he'd always was he yeah, a special sort of, Meowth yeah, kind of though, was... or do they all talk that way? Um, he is a special Meowth. I'm pretty sure Meowths don't talk. Yeah, what? only one Meowth could talk is what people were saying. Then him, yeah. then that, that specific I want individual. that Meowth, and, yeah. Then him. Because the fact that, um, I, that that they talk in their own names, I just don't know, I don't know what you're saying. 
Yeah, it's like, I feel like you're telling me something important, but I can't figure it <laughs> Then again, let's assume that Meowth, it, Meowth, that Meowth is, uh, is not allowed. What, who would you then pick? Um... You still going for the talking They'd ones? have to be... I, well... Is there I, a few? I'd, I'd go for one that can fly. That, that would be my immediate thing. I'd be like, well, I'm gonna get a Charizard or like a, uh... uh that's why I said Lugia, because you got flight and talking. So Lugia, I'd have to take care yeah. of it. That's the, that's one thing, I don't too. know that you do. I don't know if I Lugia's just... probably not gonna take my, you that seriously. Lugia's well, like a god. Hang... Lugia is the... That's like the one that... It's the white and blue one, right? Or am I... Am yeah, I, it's, am uh... L-U-G-I-A? Like... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Big oh, bird. this one. I know the picture. I, I wouldn't uh, want to go with, like, Zapdos, because I feel like that's just an accident waiting to happen. Like, if ever it rains, I'm just dead. <laughs> I don't... I, I think some of these Pokemon are, like, so mystical and grandiose that it would be weird to just have one as a friend, in a way. Like, well, what are they going to do maybe all that's, day? What? Maybe that's uh, the, the incorrect presumption. Maybe they are just friendly. I would talk to you about stuff. Them. I'm pretty sure Ash yeah, did. Misjudge them because of uh, you know, because of how cool and epic they are. Because I'm wondering what can I do that even could uh, could approach their epicness when I live a fairly mundane life, I suppose. Is that a problem? Like, though? could I? You know, still talking about the latest Marvel movie. <laughs> <laughs> I know I can talk to Meowth about the latest Marvel movie, and Louis, have so Meowth can sit on my couch with oh, me that was and watch it. No, no. What happened to like, Falcon? <laughs> <laughs> do better? What well, do you mean, do better? Why did he break his arm? Do <laughs> did you oh, think the shield? He stole his shield. I told those two Team oh, Rocket no. tards to do better for years, and they never <laughs> did. They never listened to me. All they kept doing was blasting off at the speed of light. It was kind of terrifying. You always think about what happens when they land. It's like, you guys are <laughs> in trouble. <laughs> you come back down. I, I, I gotta stick with Meowth as my choice. Just the, the combination of approachability, small size, so that it could, like, hang out with me everywhere that I go. And you can feed and, it and take care of it and stuff, yeah. Yeah, like, you know, it, it I could also feasibly feed it and clothe it and take care of it. Well, I guess not clothe it. Um, but maybe I have to put a, a, a gold nugget on his forehead, a new one, or I have to polish it. Um, but, yeah, I, I like its approachability, and I bet he'd have a willingness to hang out with me and do things that I like to do together, you know? Like we'd just be a we'd just be a team. We'd be we'd be like two peas in a pod. We'd be the cat's pajamas. Mm-hmm. Hi Rags. Hello to you. A good verse is Proverbs twenty one twenty one. Let's see. Let's take a look. Proverbs twenty one twenty one. All right. He who loves pleasure will become poor. Whoever loves wine and oil will never be rich. The wicked um, became a ransom for the righteous. And the unfait Wait, is this 21 or is this the whole thing? Oh, okay, here's 21. Chapter 21, verse 21. Whoever pursues righteousness and love finds life, prosperity, and honor. I kind of agree with that, basically. Yeah, sure. Actually, it's not even kind goal. of. It feels like the standard thing, right? Virtue. That's that's what you gotta chase. Whatever um, that means to you. I'm really sorry. Fuck, Mary, kill Cooper, Bombat, and Goombella. So who's Cooper? I I don't know any of those three, or at least they're not coming to mind. I, uh, Co involving Goombas, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna abstain. Nah, yeah. Co I was, who's the first one? You gotta remember, that's always an option, no. Is it Koopa? <laughs> I'm guessing it's Did they not. Say it Koopa seems like we're going with the, the female variants of all these. Mm-hmm. Because, uh, I don't know if Cooper with a, a hard R is something we can even say. Um, Koopa, Goomba, and what? I mean, Cooper, Goomba, and who? Goomba. <laughs> Goomber? 
Is there a mask? We can just check out the next super shot, you know? Yeah, we can. What was the third one? Because I just don't even know who it is. Is this a. Who, what character is this? I, yeah, I didn't recognize him myself. And I've played a lot of Mario. No, I'm like, I'm, I'm just curious who they're referring to. I don't actually know about any of this killing nonsense. So, sorry, because so I assume that one? I assume Koopa they're referring to a Koopa Troopa and they just misspelled it. And I know what a Goomba is you jump on them and they get flat and die. Um, and you know how it works if you misspell your super chat, then it's void. Well, oh, oh, shit. Oh, void. If that I wasn't a rule before. <laughs> oh, okay. No, no, so, that's all right, everyone, that's that's a fringy that's, rule. Mahler and I not do a not. <laughs> You've that just is... run away with it. You've just run away with it. Um. So anyway, next What's one, right? Yeah. Sure. I really liked Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man, and seeing all three Spider-Men talk about their past experiences was very cool. Also, Fringy, you rock. Oh, thanks. Well, as long as they spelled it right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, maybe they didn't, and I corrected it, and Fringy will never know. Yeah. Um... Yeah, it was pretty neat. Troll face Daisy Ridley in the house with a little crying smile. That's the account. So, welcome, welcome. Hey guys. You know, it's it's real annoying when you play Halo and it's like, I'm gonna use my boost, my XP boost, and then the multiplayer becomes unavailable. <laughs> that's oh great. no. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Love it. But I guess that's just lost. Uh, High Top made a video about Spider-Man No Way Home. It was incredibly painful, and I couldn't finish it. Hope you cover it on EFAP. Maybe. Oh, stream's down, by the way. Hmm. Well, you guys can hear me, right? Oh. Is that a yes or a no? Hello? Look. I guess not. Sorry, whenever I go reset my internet, it's, I have to come back. <laughs> right. There we go. I re so it was, the, it was the internet's fault then. It's the good old fashioned, it stops working until you turn it off and turn it back on again. Love that that is just the agreed upon fixes like 80%, I'm pretty sure, of like all computer problems. Yep. It really seems to do it. Right, where were we? <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, they were saying, are you going to cover High Top's new video on Spider-Man? Um, maybe, because we can just do our take on all of this, the stuff that's going to be said about adaptation. Um, and whatever else he's going to say. Because he said it was, uh, it's, it's the title of the thumbnail, whatever it says, like, it was, um, kind of fixed. Wait, let me guess, let me guess. It was... Spider-Man healed my soul. You'd expect that. I was expecting him to say it saved me. Um. So, uh, oh, that was what I was gonna go with too. Like it, it, it restored my um, humanity, mm. or it, it watered my me. crops. Gave me blood. Oh, Spider-Man crashed again. <laughs> cured my leukemia. It was crashed again. The stream. 
Hmm. I don't see anything. Ah, uh, there it is. No, it's there. There we go. Pay your internet bill. Buffering again. Hmm. Hmm. Well, as long as, um, you guys can hear me, I, I assume it's okay. I yeah, I can hear so. you. I don't, yeah. Maybe it needs a, a minute. Yeah, some, a lot of people saying it's back. That's good. Oh, okay. There mm. we go. Um, yeah, yeah there it is. Put a big maybe on that one. Uh. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Who knows? Well, because we haven't had Movie Bob in a while, and he's got a video on it, too. Yeah, we haven't... Yeah, the, the victorious Movie Bob. The he eternal did. He, he, Movie he Bob. He won the fight. That's what he's existed for, that winning that fight. The undying. Mm. The indestructible. The movie gelatinous. Robert. Right, where were we? <sighs> Mola, Squid Game, you've had time to think. You, Cho Sung Woo, what's your answer? Also, hi, Fringy. Hey. Um, yeah, I've, the same answer as last time. No, it's uh, it's about who do I think would survive, but even if we threw in Rags and Fringy, I, I don't have an answer for you, I don't know. The, th the thing is, a lot of it is based on nothing to do with your body necessarily or even how you think i mean yes and no like i don't know for sure exactly what would happen you know and um if you said like you know will all of you get through red light green light i'd be like well i guess i would assume yes but at the same time any of us could make a small mistake so you know i don't know i don't know who's making it or who's winning um made my mom watch Mission Impossible 5 and 6 yesterday. She loved them and was totally baffled by Tom Cruise doing his own stunts. It's insane. Yeah, it's awesome. And I think he's probably just going to want to pack that in as much as he can now before he's too old. Mm-hmm. Because he'll be getting there. Yeah. Um, Mola, you, Gary, and Az should deconstruct GOTSN8. Got Snake? I don't, I don't, I don't, do you, Game of Thrones Season 8? But, we've done that already, haven't we? So, that was a whole thing that happened back in the day. I assume maybe they were talking about something else, but maybe. Yeah, I assume Game of Thrones Season 8 is what they're referring to. I can't think of what else it might be. I was gonna say, just look at all of us in our old stuff and we all, uh, we all covered it. I'm not sure if Az did, actually. I think he was, like... He was already out of Game of Thrones at that point, or, or not. I think he said he may have done one video. Um, but yeah, there was, a, there was a whole era. If Multiverse of Massive confirmed Strange was Mephisto slash Evil Strange in No Way Home, would that retroactively make Spider-Man better? Yeah, I guess. Depends on it the context, though. Yeah, probably. If, if some later thing came out that explained that he wasn't really who he was, he was someone else in disguise, then, I mean, his character is certainly saved, which is good, because right but now he's ruined. Of, yeah. But we still have plenty of plot issues. Yeah. 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 Yeah, there's, there's more work to be done than simply saying he was Mephesto. Like, you'd need to contextualize a lot of the things that happen. Yeah, so like, where is Doctor Strange? What happened? You know, that's the uh, stuff like that. Did Mephesto... Is he... Does he just have all of Doctor Strange's powers? Or more? I'm assuming he has more. I, and I assume so. With all, him out I and... can control the minds of the universe or whatever. Hmm. It's a big deal. All your co-hosts have been furries. Yes, you are, Fringy. Oh. It's true. Fringy does dress up like an animal. That's not true. That's a lie. He's lying to you. Yeah. I've seen Fringy's F list. It is, uh... It is something else. He is... He, he calls himself Fringy. He should call himself Freaky. I don't think Fringy has a response to that. Well, well, no, he's, that's because one of his kinks is embarrassment. 
Mm. You know, it's just when you know it's lies and slander. You just you just let him, let him, let him talk. You know. If you Fringy will so. just be a green bird one day. He'll just he'll just succumb to the persona. He'll become it. I, I mean, does a bird count as a, a, a yeah, furry? Yeah, it does. They got like wait, they got doesn't matter. Feathers. Neither are dragons, but dragons are still furries. Are dragons? Do that? Absolutely. Is that actually? Is that? I, I see. I'm not familiar with like how furry stuff works, so I wouldn't know. They just try to take everything. They're greedy. Yeah. What? Just all animals? Yeah. So like, kind you're of, a lizard. Kind of, a lizard yeah. is a furry, even though yeah. it's, well, it's not a scaly, furry at all. isn't it? That's what they're called. Yep. Well, it's a. Is that it's what it's, a, it's like a brony. Like all bro bronies are just more specific furries. So what about like a if if we're talking because of frog right that's an amphibian what what is yep. that is that an amphurry amphurry an amphibian there's a few people don't typically uh, use frogs but they're out there every once in a while that seems that seems like indicative of some underlying uh, Being a frog? thing that they might need well like just the fact that they're such an aversion frog. to frogs that feels like a I don't. It's like not an aversion. People figure. like frogs. I mean, that's what MILF stands for. Um, but I think they're not very. Um, if you have a character that represents you, there's a big sexual component to furryism, furryitis, uh, and frogs are not considered a like a handsome. Might that be? I I we we could uh we can happily just skirt on over to uh, the next super chat. <laughs> Excellent. Sure, we don't have to pursue the path that you led us down. That's fine. Mubal, you missed some of the fan art on Twitter. H I R. Um, there's some that I've got ready to show on. Hopefully, the beginning of the next EFAP, but you never know what happens. Might end up in the meme faps. You never know. Plus, uh, you never know. But I have. I do miss. I can't get all of them. I'm, I'm afraid it does happen. I saw a read. Uh. Do, do, do. Where are we here? I was given free tickets to see Matrix 4. Is it worth it? Oh. No. If you have free, free tickets. tickets. Okay, so. <laughs> what if a you price. have free tickets and you have nothing else to do and you're morbidly curious and you're just desperate to get out of the house and maybe you can use it as an excuse to go with someone. Um. Assuming they don't hate you for taking them afterwards. Um... Oh... Oh, boy. Because uh, here, this film's really bad. And it's not funny bad. It's not entertaining bad. So... I mean, it's, like I said, when we finished it, re I regretted having lost the time. Yeah, yeah I'm that not that glad that I is, saw it. Your time has value, alright? Don't don't forget that. You can never recover your time. You can always make more money. You have to rub it in, Fringy. You, we get it. Um, you, you can all, you know, that time is just, poof, it's just gone. Yeah. You can never get in the back. Um. Can I have time machine? Well, but if you had a time machine, you're not going to get the time back because your time is still going to keep going. My time machine makes me younger. That time is still gone. That be, that's kind of seems like a fun. setup for a skit, doesn't it? It's like, I have a time machine. Like, whoa, when are you going to go? You're like, no, it just makes me no, younger. No, 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 no. Yeah, it just <laughs> makes me younger. <laughs> uh... Boom. But yeah, I, oh, that's up to you. There's if you got it for free, you know, it's you you gamble if you think it's worth it. I I don't think it is. Um, fuck Mary, kill EFAP minis, movies, and gaming. Um. So I'm marrying EFAP movies. We're gonna have a long, healthy, wonderful life together. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to... Here's the thing, we don't do that many EFAP gamings. I like them, but we don't do that many. Um... So I'm wondering if... 
And how many min like do we like minis? Is this is this considered a mini? Mm-hmm. Mm. I think just through sheer volume, uh, I might have to kill gaming, and uh, fuck the EFAT minis. All right then. Uh, what if the f what if the French and VC were wiped out by predators at Bean Bean Fu? I don't know how to pronounce that. Yen Ben Fu. Um, and that's why no one survived. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, it'd be it'd be uh, nifty to see a, a Frenchman and a uh, a Vietnamese man having to team up. Uh, the AVP books set in the Aliens universe do a good job of showing the predator culture and why they would work with the humans against the aliens. Um, there's a little bit of that that's not 100% cringe in the first AVP. 99, you know? A little bit in there. It's not like, it's not a, an irredeemable disaster of a film. I imagine there's things we would like in it. Here and there, you know? A little bit of this, a little bit of that. The Arctic phone's too valuable, we can't lose it. That's a fair point. Yeah, hmm. Um, would you have any book, video, etc. recommendations for learning more about how to write set essays and video essays? These say book recommendations? Yeah, I guess they're asking for like recommendations for things that can help you learn how to make videos slash analysis stuff. Honestly, I don't have a Ryan recommendation for something to... I always assume you're going to find better tools on YouTube uh, if you're looking to make video essays specifically. But I suppose if you're trying to learn about writing for them, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to tell you which Probably books to grab. Books. I mean, hopefully, not to toot our own horn, but hopefully we've helped quite a bit. Um, I think a lot of it is knowing what to look out for uh, and putting yourself into a mindset where you can be critical. Well, I guess unless the advice specifically pertains to, like, structure and essay. Structure yeah, I assume it's more like writing advice. Argument. Sure, you, um, but... Probably a lot of books that you could find that are about, like, persuasive writing. Like, I mean, I'll, I'll just do a cursory... Look, books about start. writing essays. Because I actually think I might want to add one of these to... Uh, no, I don't want college essay ones. I want to... No, not a no-nonsense plan. I want... I just... No. I want lots of nonsense, damn it. Yeah, I want an extremely nonsense. nonsensical plan. Well, yeah, because I, I don't want one that's like, here's how to get a higher SAT score. It's like, no, I... I no. When they say the only book you'll ever need, it's like, all right, I don't want to read yeah, that Yeah, you now. know, yeah, yeah, that's what fucking religion Why are you say? presuming how awesome yours is, you know? <laughs> Maybe there's someone else who has something to say that you've forgotten. Tell me a book that is, like, a step on your path in your journey to becoming the best writer that you can be. What me? Well, I, I do think EVAP should help quite a bit, um, but I just don't know what I can recommend because I don't read books on that sort of thing. Yeah. I think well, maybe, maybe just one read would... essays, like read read like some Mark Twain essays, read some uh, yeah Oscar Wilde stuff. You know, just you could recommend your Marcus Aurelius stuff. Wow, those aren't essays; those were like little uh. Well, I guess that's what they mean journal. by essay, right? Um, well, so those were, like, definitely unstructured. He didn't intend for anybody to read them. They were, like, journal entries. Um, but, I mean, you could read, like, you could read, like, Seneca or something, if you want. You could read a bunch of, like, ancient Greek philosophers, though. They wouldn't have called them essays, but they are basically essays a lot of the time. Persuasive I'm argumentation. I I will say this, I think Greece re lately really been dropping the ball on pumping out famous philosophers. They had a whole bunch back in the day, and they're just, yeah. they're just, re they've been in a slump for a couple thousand years, it seems. Yeah, yeah they had a new well, show running. Well, sure. But, uh, well, yeah, because you have, like, Socrates, Aristotle, Plato, and then all of a sudden, just, like, none. And then they all started coming from, like, Russia and Germany and stuff, and then they started coming from America. It's all these eras. 
I think they're doing Socrates 2 soon. Uh, Socrates 2. The Socrateasing. Greek is, Greece has entered the Disney era. It's like a civilization game. You've entered the Disney era. Everything's yeah. just shit. Everything's bad copies of other things. They do Greek mythology, but instead of doing it about Zeus or something, it's just called, like, Hades. And it's a story about how Hades wanted to be a fashion designer in Athens. Or how he wanted to be maybe like an Olympic weightlifter. That's his real passion. But but then it's like, no, you need to be evil. So it's like High School Musical. It's like, can't I be evil and do weightlifting? <laughs> yeah, I want to be a big strong villain. Then again, I don't know. Is he even evil? He's just the god of the underworld. That's his job. I'm not. I don't, know that I'm not, I don't think he's guy. actually evil. Because, like, well, if we're, we're going to be honest, you know? <laughs> like, Zeus is evil. Let's just be frank. A lot of the gods are just evil. They're yeah. straight up evil. Mm -hmm. Um, so... Athena, you know, Medusa was absolutely a victim. Just, like... So was Arachne and... A lot of these, yeah. A lot of them got screwed over. Literally, a lot of them got screwed over. I don't know, he seems super evil like, in the video dang, game. God of War, so... I trust yeah, the Hades was game. misunderstood, yeah. <laughs> the least evil. It is funny, isn't it? The god of the underworld, the least evil one. <laughs> the underworld is the just a place it like anywhere else. Because it's yeah. not necessarily just like the underworld. It is, it's the, the realm of the earth. It's the, the caves and caverns and the riches of the of the earth. So the gems and jewels are his as well. That's kind of like his domain. You have... Because yeah. the three brothers got the sky, the ocean, and the the land, and Hades apparently wasn't happy with his, you know, one that he got. But I don't know. It makes you, it makes you wonder who makes up this stuff, and like how did how does it become agreed upon? That, oh yeah, of course. That's that's uh, Helios. He's driving his chariot across the sky, pulling the sun. Well, and, it's interesting and, to think about that, right? Because like obviously it was made up, but um. But it's like, you know, the, the Odyssey and everything, like, the stuff that Homer made, it's like, yeah, those are stories. Like, we agree, yeah, those are stories. They're not, like, that's the not, like, that's real. the That's mythology, but that isn't canon. I, yeah, I guess that's one way of thinking about it, but I guess it's like, because, you know, did people believe in the epics of Gilgamesh, or did they all also, like, accept that that was just... Or was that, like, legends, right? Because Gilgamesh was a person who existed... So people were like, yeah, no, Gilgamesh, he went and he, like, fought all of the... I actually don't know much about the epic of Gilgamesh. Um, and, you know, he fought all those monsters. It's like, ha, ah, yeah, maybe he did, who knows. But but definitely Zeus exists. <laughs> like, you know. Yeah, yeah, because there's no, there's no difference between what's in the Odyssey and just the, the canon Greek mythology, other than the amount of people who believe it to be true. There's right. just no difference. It might as well be... It wouldn't change anything. It wouldn't. It it slots in perfectly. So you do wonder how do how does this become the accepted mythology that people believe in and worship? And maybe this it other is thing just is because, just a like, story. We we know because may, maybe it would have become like the myths and the, and the stuff that people believed if there wasn't a name to attach it to. Like Homer was the guy who. Well, I know that it's now a thing that's talked about that there's a good chance that Homer. I don't know if it's a good chance, but there is a, a chance that is, like, reasonable enough that could be true that, like, Homer was, um, not one person. It's, like, multiple people. Mm, I've heard that. That there was no one mind who came up with the story in full that people might have added to it, or it would have been a collection of things coming all together, and then you just attach it to this one guy. They should just be named definitely... homies? Well, I... <laughs> I guess you could do that if you wanted to. I just, I just like the idea oh, of wonder. thinking that one guy, one really clever guy, came up with this big story. That's like a nice thing to think. Um, Predator, a redneck, hun a redneck hunting deer. You're the deer. <laughs> the deer starts forging like little spears to try to fight the hunter with its hooves. See it. I can't grab anything. What the fuck? Like a billion dollars. Uh, in order for Spider-Man No Way Home to beat all of the other Phase 4 films combined, it needs to make 1.2 billion. 
Apparently so. Wow, it's nearly there. And that's pretty I funny. think it's uh it's already the highest grossing Sony film of all time. That's only been out for oh, wow. two weeks. Yeah. I'm happy for it to be the one. Um, I mean, you know, in the competition of big corporate like <laughs> blockbuster movies. Disasters, yeah. Well disasters, yeah. Um Hello all. More importantly, hi Rags. Hello. Rags, what do you have against femboys? Um, I don't really. They don't appeal to me. Uh, I like. I, I don't like just men who are just really feminine. It was never my thing, honestly. Um, there's exceptions here and there, I'm sure, but I'm definitely, definitely team tomboy. They're just clearly superior. Um, so yeah. None against them, personally. Add the unbearable weight of massive talent to your most anticipated list. If you haven't heard of it, check out the summary. Trailer is good. Yeah, we, we mentioned yeah. that before. It's the one with Nicolas Cage playing Cage. Nicolas Cage. The unbearable <laughs> weight of massive talent yep. with Nicolas Cage playing himself. I'm down. Mm -hmm. That's why everyone's down, yeah. I think. Uh, imagine having Lugia as a guest, but since he talks through tele telepathy, someone has to speak for him whenever he has something to add. It's true, he can't podcast. Well, he just has to have yeah. someone there well, I guess to, he'd uh... have to... Yeah, and Lugia says this, and Lugia says this, and this. Well, if we have that, um, fabricator, or whatever, from Spider-Man, we'll just make him a little machine that converts his thoughts into, into a voice. It'd be great. Easy. You can give him uh, tentacle arms mm -hmm. with a neural inhibitor chip mm -hmm. to make sure that he stays in control. Mm -hmm. What are your fondest Christmas memories? I was hanging out with the folks. Uh, you know, some of the presents that I've got, just the general holiday cheer that happens when everyone gets together and they're having a good time and the Christmas music is playing. You know, it's all that. Yeah, I just remember lots of times we would just be super cozy because it's cold outside but warm inside and you got a Christmas movie playing and everyone's just together and chilling out. Yeah. It's, um, it's a vibe, you know? Yes, there it is. There is a vibe. It's a state of mind. I can't think of any particular Christmas event memory that was like better than the rest or something. My Christmases tend to go well. They're not like those films where it goes really bad for a bit and then works out in the yeah, end. Yeah, where like the monster attacks or you get <laughs> left at home while your parents go to France or whatever. And then they end up in jail for child endangerment. And then you inherit the house. It's my house now. <laughs> um, will you respond to High Top's No Way Home video? I hated it. Maybe, maybe. Huh. Seems there's an interest here. More, more than one person has asked, mm -hmm. so who knows? Not that that's necessarily our criteria, but it does pique our interest potentially when a lot of people ask for something. Like Arcane, with like 7,000 yeah. people. Uh. Um, turning it off and on again is literally how we treat heart attacks. Also, pay. Oh, well, for the first thing, I didn't. Uh, I get. Does. Is that the if, right? well? If they're talking about that, I guess it, it turns itself off, and then you have to restart it. Wouldn't that be the logic? There? Yeah, I think so. I I don't know. I, I have no idea. Not like, hey, I'm gonna try this ballsy move here. Turn his heart <laughs> off, and then turn it back on. <laughs> it's like have Doctor Strange turning the heart back off and on. Oh again? god, that part. Yeah, that should have done so much damage to him. Well, it's just, hey, if you have electric shot, that translates to powers in like the astral realm. I don't see how that works. Well, someone's asking you on your stream, right? It's like about Doctor Strange. It's like we, we, what we do because we still do plan to do like a, an arc of going through the the, the MCU one day. It could be years from now, yeah. who knows? But when we get to Doctor Strange, we'll we'll go through all of the fucking shit in that movie because the plot is I think garbage. That might surprise people. Yeah, it's not good. But yeah, the astral projection fight is pretty funny. He like it was funny. He beats him because. The electric goes through his physical body into him, into the guy, and it's like, well, wait, that kills the that guy, but doesn't hurt you? Yeah, because, like, 
surely it hurts you to have your heart shocked. And you're electrified in the astral projection realm, I'm well, guessing. But also, why, why do we presume- why is there a, like a link between those two? Isn't I guess, it, well, I can- I'm chill with it being a link, but I don't see why electric on the astral version of you transmits to the physical one and gives you- like, kills you, you know? I get, yeah, right, I guess that's what I mean, is like, I'm not- I don't- I don't really see it. Hmm. Do you think that they have in the- the- like, the monasteries and all that sort of thing, they just have arsenals of defibrillators? Defibrillators? <laughs> Alright, this is gonna come in handy, trust me. It's a crazy story, I was dying, you see, and- We get attacked by ghosts, everyone bust out the defibs. <laughs> We don't make the rules. Um, also, play Hollow Knight. It's awesome. Also, give us more J. Hello, Rags. Metal smells. Oh, my goodness. Hello. Um, yeah, I didn't know he smelled. Yeah, I, I, I just... Hard to smell him from here. But, um... Also, Hollow Knight is awesome. That's true. Well, you, you generally are right next to him. Um, smell doesn't, like, come through the internet. This whole doesn't... thing. I well, can oh, I guess maybe, maybe, because, well, I'm, so I'm you a dog. You are a dog, you've got better yeah, hearing Yeah, I, I here. guess it, I guess it's just a, di a species difference. That's okay, our differences are what make us something. So, that, Stronger. that'll be alright. Yes, it does. Diversities are something. Hello, you big flumbos. Hello. Hello. Sorry if this has been asked already, but any plans for yeah. Matrix 4 or Matrix 1 through 4 coverage? Worst movie I've seen since TLJ and Tross and deserves to be ripped to shreds. Fringy, you're wrong. Also, hi, Rags. Hi. Uh, I agree Fringy is wrong. Mm. Uh, as far as the Matrix goes, it I don't even know how I would start tackling a movie like that. Because if... I considered for Dog Bites just doing like, a, oh, I watched this and here's my thoughts. And then I was wondering, what am I going to say? I said that to Jay Longbone. I was like, I don't even know how you make the video of ripping into this fucking disaster um before we start but i think we will one day um in the same way that we will do tenet one day i i just don't have any intention right now and the way i'll probably do it is prepare some some notes and try and look into why people love resurrections so that we can figure out the fuck happened um but that'll be maybe that's that needs to be, be said about the meta well, it, it just needs to be enough time from now that That's I've forgotten it. Like, all of it. It is a... I'm trying to think, um... Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even know. I don't even know. You don't even know. I don't, I don't even know with that movie. With that... If film. You can call it that. Yeah. Yeah. You'd have to you'd have to segment it heavily, like mm -hmm. oh, they, let's talk about this character in particular and this character in particular. But a lot of them will be just this is just not a character. This is just someone who just says words. There's no characters really. They they're just people who say words and stuff happens. I challenge anyone who watches that movie to tell me what the plot was. Save Neo and Trinity from the Matrix. Um, I was excited when I heard next year the movie Rebel Moon was coming, an original space sci-fi universe. But then I noticed it was directed by Zack Snyder. Oh. Oh, oh well. You almost got me excited there. Like, wait, an original like science fiction? You don't see that as often now. You used to. Yeah, especially because like it's not just like the the ba the baggage that comes with Zack Snyder, but just like what I consider probably his worst work is his latest work. So right, does that mean he's getting worse? Um, I guess we'll find out. Sorry about that though. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Um, he's just the director where you hear his name and you're just oh, so it's just. It's gonna get wasted. Yeah, you just it write is. it off. Yeah, you just write it off. Do you know there are people who like Army of the Dead? There are people who I mean, like Army of the Dead. It pretty confuses unbelievable, me. isn't it? Yeah. That movie is. It is the worst movie. I just um, like. It was such a fucking piece of shit. 
in many ways. EFAP movies will be on that eventually too. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. We did an EFAP movies on it. Oh mm -hmm. my goodness. Uh, Rikita Ooh. rumored an EFAP appearance. What's the news guard rating on him? On this, sorry? News guard rating? Does that sound familiar to you guys? I don't know what that is. Uh, I think news guard is supposed to be like, oh, is this true, this report in the news? Oh, well, I mean, we've said again and again, we, we're going to get him on. I just got to get the right topic, yeah. right time. Yeah, I'd love to have him on. Mm -hmm. uh, but we want his his legal skills to be put to use. We don't want to necessarily bring him on and have it be something where we can't take advantage of his skill set. Yeah. Um, or maybe there's just something he really, really wants to talk about. Maybe it's not legal related. He just really has a passion for something and wants to talk about it. Who knows? So, yeah. One day. Uh, been watching your EFAB back catalog. Hit your first Theater Robert video. Question. Why is... Well, I think it's supposed to be, why isn't he in jail for crimes against humanity? I think it's mostly the lack of substantive proof. Um, but he's... He's an odd one, man. Mm -hmm. he, he's, he is a very strange, very bitter fat man um, <laughs> and I can't even there's a part of me I think I'd said this to Molly or something somewhere in like a DM or whatever I said I can't even be angry at him because there's something about him that he's like a cartoon villain yeah in a way where you just can't you don't think he's real so it's difficult to have a level of real hatred Towards he has him, like even though zero he's... influence and power, so you kind of see him as like this silly thing. You no, know, like, yeah, I, he's like I, a cartoon I've villain. Not, I've not consumed much movie Bob content at all, but like, why hasn't he evolved his uh his his like format? He's still got like he painted the, his door green, really... even with the uh, the handle. <laughs> oh, that's not a evolution. Even, I don't even know the handle. Is. That's a yeah. Decision. Remember. <laughs> I don't think no, you. I, I don't think, dude. Don't think... That was like, I, I think Wolf was for like half of those the movie Bob stuff. Oh wow! Yeah, th there was. Yeah, we I, covered a like movie it. Bob video, and I think it was Joker. Right. Or I can't remember, but his his green screen, he decided in his now his, his transcendent wisdom Infinite was wisdom, that yeah. his green screen would be he paints the wall, and the door trim, and Why the not just hand, get and a the door. Sheet? And the door handle. He paints it all green. Yeah, that's the smart move. Why, why not just buy a sheet? That would be less stupid. effort, and it doesn't destroy your house. You could <laughs> just buy like a professional, um, a green screen that's like a, it's like a mesh with a you border can, on it that you yeah, can yeah, you know, like everybody else with a stand. Yep, yeah, like everyone else. Yeah. Well, it's not every element of his video making is um, stuck in like 2008. It's ridiculous. Well, yeah, because. His audio quality is insane. Like, Seeing... I can't believe how bad it is for somebody who does it on, like, YouTube for a long time, professionally. Seeing him paint his door handle and all green gives me the Thanos I'll do it myself vibe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you know, he like, thought that was a it. genius idea. <laughs> yeah, to paint the wall, the door, the door trim. Oh my god. And the handle, all the green. Handle. It's the handle that really makes it. It's like, the handle, yeah. Because it the handles are, go are all like the brass, way. you know. Yeah, yeah. Either like stand metal. in front of it, or just chop it out in post. That little bit of Yeah, the, he, just... if he stands in front of the door, the door, you're not seeing the door. I meant the handle. Well, he's, yeah, whatever, fuck it. There's so many things you could do better, but... <laughs> just the idea that he went through the trouble to, instead of just ordering a green screen with a stand... And it just props up behind him. Mm -hmm. He's like, I'm going to go to Sherwin Williams or wherever, Office Depot, and I'm going to buy a can of paint and a paintbrush, and I'm going to paint my house completely this bright green color. I, just, I there's got to be a reason why he thought that that was the move to make. Well, this person follows up with saying, my nose bled due to the word salad he was throwing out there. Yeah, you guys remember we used to play him on half speed to even understand his sentences? It's true, well, yeah. It's almost, it's Elements of Style, my friend. That's a great book. You learn a lot about cutting out superfluous words from your script. I think and... his, um, what he said about 
Matrix was that it represents the liberal who was happy with Obama and went to sleep and woke up eight years later to reveal, like, the world has fallen to hell and it's time to the do something about it. Was, sorry, the liberal who was happy with Obama who then went to sleep and then eight years... Yeah, like, so like, like the... I feel like I'd need to sit down and with a piece of paper and, <laughs> like, try to deconstruct that sentence to fully understand what he's trying to say. He said that's what the film represents. It's supposed to be a call to action for liberals to stop pretending as though they could just sleep through everything since Obama got it or something like that. I don't, I don't I guess, think he knows what a liberal is. It's well, just so, funny. I feel like it just that I don't know, man. That just feels to me like more affirmation that a lot of the the purpose of the internet for a lot of people is I'm a good person, not like you. Look at how good I am. I'm a great person. Look at how much I care and I'm aware. I'm so good. I mean, it's just how it feels a lot of the time. And he ain't, like, he'd probably agree with you, in the sense that he would be like, I am better than all of those people. Well, I would kill them I, I if I could. He would. He would Thanos snap would. their ass out of existence. I don't know, I, I guess it's thought. just like... Like, he's I, evil. Yeah. Movie Bob is an evil, horrible person. Yeah, he, he only lacks the means and the drive to enact his evilness. That's what I mean. Well, it, without power, he's just kind of funny. But if he did have power, yeah. he'd be quite scary. He would be a horrific supervillain. Um... <coughs> Hades is the only one with a healthy relationship. For your information, Zeus stole Persephone and gave her to Hades. By the way, never be a lover of Apollo. You will die. Well, there you go. We would hang out with Hades out of the lot of them then, wouldn't we? Yeah, man. I'd be like, he's like, you don't want to, you don't want to see the sky and the ocean and stuff. And I'm like, no, I, I, it's not that. It's just that. I can see it from know, here. Yeah, we can we can have a look still. Got a window. Uh, to anyone who wants to learn the EFAP ways, read How to Read a Book by Mortimer J. Adler. It's crazy how much overlap there is between the two. Ah, oh, Mortimer J. Adler. If he wants to come on EFAP, unless he's dead or something. <laughs> he um, might be dead. Uh, I, we'd love to have you on EFAP. Since his name is we Mortimer, which is just an old name, you know, nobody's called Mort or Morty or... Yeah, nope. it's like, oh, my... Like, if, if you see a woman and her name is Agnes, you know mm. that she's just old. Or, old, or yeah. Teresa. Teresa's not... Agnes I can agree with, but, like, Teresa's not an old person name. Yeah, I'm not sure what age I put Teresa at. But Agnes Teresa, feels I mean, really old. Agnes is old. Well, it's like yeah, Dot, right? Like, and oh, Beatrice, yeah, that's another one. Beatrice, Edna. Edna. Yeah. Edna. Edna, definitely. Yeah, and just, I could Betty? picture an old man be calling. You don't get a lot of anymore? Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't get many Bettys. Edith, Gertrude. Daphne? Margaret, okay, yeah, I guess she'd be called Maggie when she was younger, right? You still, I Could think be. that's, that is, that is an older name, but you still have people, it's kind of, yeah. Um, if you wanted to make a Last City on Earth movie, what would be the basic concept? A Last, a last City City on Earth, Earth movie. Um, I don't know. I have no idea. I'd have to sit down and think about it. The thing is, I think there's or... potential with any... um, I don't know if they're asking us what would the event be that forced it to be that way. And it's like maybe uh, climate change or aliens or resource scarcity. You know, like the, the, a war. Yeah. Super virus. Alien yeah, it could be virus. virus wiped out. Yeah, I think yeah. that's probably the most plausible. Zombies. Um, but super virus happens, kills a whole bunch of people. There's not many who survive. Um, and they all gather together. And they make a city, and as far as they know, it's the only one. Uh, and if they believe it, that's good enough. Because, I mean, at that point, I don't know how you confirm that with the rest of the world. Maybe you could, you know, radios and whatnot, I'm not sure. But it, just... but it depends on the time period you set it. Like, if it's set in the 50s or something. Or, fuck, if you do it in medieval times. You know, there's just one city left. Um, and that they just don't know if, if anyone else is out there. I'm just amused by how, like... I feel like that's the go-to sort of, you know, we're definitely the last city, it's the only city, and then it's like, there's actually more. It'd be funny if the reveal instead was, turns out there's zero cities. It's yeah, like, you're dead. <laughs> like, just, our city isn't real, it's the Matrix. 
It'll be a huge reveal. It'll be so famous. Instant billion. Oh. Um, jingle bells, metal smells, and Fringy laid an egg. I don't know if you guys have any opinions about that. Um, Fringy smells. No. Oh. That. That said, I laid I got... an egg. It's interesting that that's all Rags heard. It's like it's like that's what Rags wanted to hear. Did, yeah, I'm sorry, sorry I, was, I was I was in another yep. plane. What, what was yes? <laughs> you, you think Fringy smells? We get it. All right, jeez. No, that's the part I heard. That's the part you misheard because that's not what was written. <laughs> Did they not said. say that you smell? <laughs> no. They said someone smells, but it wasn't me. <laughs> Fringy doesn't smell then. Not according to the canon of this uh, little. No, of thing. this little thing. Who is the smelly individual? Do you really want to know, Rex? I'd love to know. All right. Well, you know what? I'll I'll give you just uh, just one guess out of everyone in the East EFAP sphere. Who do you think they said was the smelly one? Prime Metal. That's a bingo. Because <laughs> this is the second time now. <laughs> He's been called Smelly there's, twice. I'm starting to think there's a connection here. There's a precedent here for mm -hmm. him being Smelly. Can it be ignored? I don't think so. Uh, never forget, Movie Bob tried to paint Mauler and Sargon as bad actors that throw in racist nonsense between valid arguments in movie critiques. Yeah, I remember that. That was the TLJ stuff in Black Panther. Does Sargon do movie reviews? So, um, remember I remember the context specifically for this. So, when he did The Last Snowflake, I think, was that the video he made, Sargon? And he basically summarized I the know. events of The Last Jedi as comparing them to, like, a gender studies person having made it and explaining why they would have made the choice and laughing at all of them. So, he made that, and then I made the Black Panther video, and so Movie Bob was like... He made, like, a parody where... It had the title of my video uh, about Black Panther, but the account, I think, was a parody of Sargon's. And then he was saying there are YouTubers who, like, use the guise of arguing to just wheel out all of their racism. It's like, okay. So racist. I was, I was a youngin back then, I just didn't realize that, um... I, I was too stupid to realize that criticizing a movie with black it people was really... in it was GG. Go! It does feel real awkward that it's like, man, I never realized movie reviews were so controversial. Well, yeah, because I was stupid enough to just right. be like, what, what do you mean? I was making arguments about the plot. And everyone like looks at me like... <laughs> but the, 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 you know the plot was black, too. <laughs> it's just like, why, would, why, do you, why do you think that would matter? They haven't, they haven't watched your video. I can't wait video. until... When YMS is eventually done with his The Lion King review, mm -hmm. um, you know he's going to get called racist. Do you reckon? I think so. Um, but he's YMS though, he's, he's really established, and he's been talking about how he's wanted to make this for a while, and he's very passionate about the original, and he's got loads of, like, research related to the like, production. No, you know, you know there'll be people. He, he will probably get it from some people, but I imagine he'll make it pretty fine. I, I wouldn't be surprised if that video is very popular. It won't hurt his career or anything, but there will be that, that an element of that. I thought he was done with the Lion King video? I feel like I no, would have heard about no. that if it were done. I think he took a little break from editing it, um, but I've been I've been catching up on some of the highlights from his editing stuff, talking about that movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm very very excited to see his full thing on it. There's a lot of very interesting stuff to talk about. Yeah. Uh, Matrix EFAP movies arc when? Never. Oh, I guess like maybe, I said, yeah. if it yeah, was going to yeah. happen, it's going to be. A year slash years from now. Um, I want to forget the new one, and then I want to watch them all, and then I want to look into what people have been saying about them, so that I can do, like, a, an EFAP movies, but that's more informative rather than entertaining, because it's going to be... A, well, sorry, informative rather than comedic. should be entertaining either way. Um, but it, it would just be interesting to tackle it and go over what the fuck happened, because at that point, nobody will like Resurrections. It'll have been long enough. Mm-hmm. We won't have people trying to stand it, because they won't even remember it anymore. Like TLJ. Remember TLJ? You guys remember that song? I do! Unfortunately you do, but... What happens? Yeah. Um, if Peeping I Tom... 
got a blank check for a live action movie. Would you guys allow someone else to voice you guys? Oh, dude, I'd be. It's up to Az if if it would be his adaptation at that point. If he said like the only way we can get it made is if we can't voice our own characters in it, I'd be like, okay. But I'd just be like, I'm here if you want me to do, to do it. I'm curious who he'd pick for us. And maybe the whole Chris point Pratt. is that they're nothing like us at all. Chris Pratt for me, and then Chris Pratt's son for you. What if he hires us to do each other? <laughs> like, why? <laughs> it's just like, I don't know. It seems <laughs> just right. Just because. Stringy plays Mahler. Mahler plays Rags. Raz Rags <laughs> plays Stringy. You know, it's just... It's Metal subversive. plays J. J plays J. <laughs> it's just like, you know, it doesn't make any sense. Very confusing. All right. So we're up to date with today's ones. Now we can start doing catch-up. An hour and a half the in. We showed up now. Um, will you be having Sean Fitzgerald, actual Justice Warrior, on? He has both great and dumbass media takes. Also, Duma won't debate him because Duma's afraid of his intellect, and so on. I think this person is probably oh, going to ask us this, like the King Kong person, and that's totally fine. Uh, we we may very well at some point in the future. I don't see why not. Um, yeah, I'm not against it. Yeah, we'll talk to him about movies. Sure. Uh, last night, Nick Rakita at Rakita Law did an EFAP of Binger's interview, but he underestimated how long an EFAP takes, so he only did half the interview while the stream was five hours long. I was disappointed with his stamina. Five hours wow. is good. Five hours is good. Yeah. And all BS. Like I said, you know, if we have a guest and they stay for two, I'm like, nice. Good stuff. I'm glad you stayed for the two. But if some people end up staying for like nine, like, holy shit. Impressive. They had nothing to do that day. Mm-hmm. And they must have sorted out food and maybe even a nap in between, which is all good. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I can see my peen with no mirror. Me too. Yeah, well, not it, yours, it, it, mine. It, it ordered me to wait for a response after saying it, so that's what that was. But there you go. Context: Got a treadmill secondhand, and EFAP vods helped distract me. Remembered at the start of a super chat talking about um, W O R W O R World of War. World of <laughs> War. World uh, of War. Well, that's how I feel about myself. No more. Currently a size M. Lost over five stone. Nice. Nice. Keep at it, sir. Um, can Spider-Man titles stop including the word home? I, I thought it was nice for the trilogy that we got the three homes. It's, um, I always saw Homecoming as a really suitable name. Uh, Far From Home is, like, fine in terms of suitability, and then No Way Home is, like, perfect. No Way Home is perfect name. Because um, Homecoming worked on the meta level of being like, it's Spider-Man, and he's hanging out with Marvel Studios characters instead of being on his own in Sony. It's like a Homecoming. And then also the Homecoming dance, and then also um, his, like, friend neighborhood Spider-Man starting up proper, you know, th there's lots of things to be said. And doesn't Aunt May ask if he was masturbating? Right. So that's homecoming. Um, but I don't think we're going to get any more home titles now, probably. Uh, did the person use a peen snipper like in Van Helsing? <laughs> I don't know um, which person we're talking about. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, Van Helsing is good enough that in several years from now, I'd be like, want to do a new fat movies on it again with different casts yeah. so we can just shake it up. <laughs> I just want to see those midgets fall into acid pits again. <laughs> You're just walking or they just set on fire regularly. <laughs> it would be impossibly Horrific. hard to not do that more if you remade that film. Like, we gotta have the fucking midget people getting killed all the time. You have, um, it's just OSHA is having a field day mm -hmm. with Dracula's work safety regulations. It's just a horrific place to work. I can't remember if it was a um, gas bullshit or a super chat, but uh, the one where he falls and he hits the rim of the, the acid pit instead of falling into it and slams and just falls to the side. Apparently that was like a stuntman got injured because he was supposed to fall into it. So it's just like, man, 
sacrifices they made for the craft, you know? We sacrificed midgets. many midgets to make this film. Uh, more, I'm going to make a film adaptation of EFAP. Once it gets super popular, people will think the film is more definitive than this. Also, high rags and fringle dingle lingle. Hello! And at that point, I would just be like, wow. You know, because, like, we could joke, but, like, legit. If they made EFAP into a little animated show and it got really popular, and then we sort of got a little bit flanderized, and, like, our characters were much more... They just ended up being very different from what they were here. And, like... EFAP, if it ever had canon, it's considered from that TV show. It's got nothing to do with us. And that would just be somewhere I'd be like, well, um, there's not much we can do about it at that point. But it highlights how being first doesn't give you a zeitgeist control over what the thing is considered by the people. Though we would still exist and be like, we're better. Because we're the originals. Rags, imagine you were just like mild mannered. Mm -hmm. That was it. Just like this. That'd be terrible. Yeah, imagine cool. a mild mannered me. I'm not mild, I'm wild mannered. Uh, also, wife loves the Rags plushie, but think Maulers looks like a demon. Please tell her. Uh, you're a I mean, squad man, so I can give you to my two year old. You mean squid man? I'm a squad. I'm a squad squid man. Um. Well, look, I can tell her I am an eldritch demony thing, but don't kill. Just just hang out. And it's all cuddly, it's not slimy. Very friendly. You can tell from the eyes. Uh Hey Mola, got an NFT idea for rags you can suggest. We can call it Ruin and he can sell gif images of all the grandmas he's romanced. Um no, I'm not sure about that. comes up to Rags, it's just like, Hey, have you ever heard of NFTs? So <laughs> funny that if someone was like, Why don't you guys make NFTs? I'd be like, stop. Fire extinguisher. Yeah. No, just hit them with it. You do that Dunk. as well. <laughs> uh, You asked, why don't all humans speak the same language? Ask Rags about the Tower of Babel. I don't... so that's not real, um... Also, I was just joking, I know why they don't speak that. the same language. Yeah, I, they're, they're, yeah it's, it's a story got mixed up the languages. He was very upset that they were cooperating, not that they were building a tower. That's yeah, don't get it very wrong. very commonly misunderstood aspect of the story. People think that the story's better than it is. It's still terrible, but I think it's better than it is. Um, he was very upset humans weren't spreading out and that they were all getting together and cooperating. So he mixed up the languages. Mm-hmm. That must suck. Like, you have friends and stuff, and you really enjoy their company, and you're great buds and everything, and one day you just speak different languages. That must suck. Yeah, imagine, like, Fringy started speaking Australian. We'd just be like, dude, help us out. Speaking Australian. Yo, or if Rag started speaking American. So confusing, but uh, luckily we all speak English. Nobody speaks Welsh. I used to be Welsh. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what your head was thinking with that one. Like, I go with Swedish, <laughs> like, kinda. Uh, I had to watch my childhood hero's biggest movie via camera. I would have liked May to reference Ben before the line, otherwise I loved this movie. I was curious about the fact that um, it, they both make it clear it came from Uncle Ben on their universes. That is there an implication there, potentially, that May heard that line originally from this universe's Uncle Ben? Or is it just that she says it as well? Maybe she's a Spider-Man fan. Maybe. Um, also, in Spider-Man 2, Otto and Connors are friends, but Otto doesn't freak out when he sees a giant lizard? Strange. Uh, yeah, there was... There was no acknowledgement from... Um, Otto about Connors, which was kind of strange. 
because he's probably aware of him. There was a couple of those, uh, there's interactions that we're taking advantage of. I remember seeing someone say a few of them. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, the Connors one is super interesting. Um, I wanted to thank you all for introducing me to Soma via bugging Fringle to play it. I got a feeling I won't be forgetting about that experience anytime soon. And it's one I'd never have had if it wasn't for EFAP. Cheers and happy Christmas. Rimbus. Um, yeah, happy Christmas. And I'm glad you enjoy it. Game that I think everyone should play. It's one of those pieces of media. Uh, do you still think that Dark Souls has a bad story? Isn't there a difference between bad and incomplete? If Lord of the Rings was published with chapters missing and out of order, uh, it would be a bad product because it's a book, but the writing quality would be the same. I feel like it wouldn't be the same at that point, right? The writing quality. Because if yeah, you skip... Yeah, I, I feel like an aspect... Go ahead. I was just going to say, so, like, let's go with, um, Gandalf dies, and then we skip, like, like two towers removed, and then it's just like, Pippin and Gandalf are on an adventure, and you're just like, what? Like, that's... I think you've talked about this... Gandalfs are there? A couple of times, but just like when you've man walks down the street, but also he has no legs. Like establishing it's something is and something isn't. Yeah, I like you. Yeah, that's what creates contradictions like a lot of the time. And this is the thing. This is why people say like, oh, you've just want every movie to be super long because you have to explain how everything became everything that it is. It's just, but you can. It's not. It's, you can. You can. A lot of it is like. We infer a lot fight. with uh, people yeah. moving from location to location, or like if someone has cigarettes, it's like, how did they get those? It's like, probably just bored. Well, yeah, it's it's a whole thing of like reasonable inference, like, and then conversely, you know, like super bad faith, right? It's like, how did he get the cigarette? Nah, that sounds like a flaw to me. It's like, well, what, what are you well, doing? Well, funnily enough, <laughs> I saw people arguing on the EVAP subreddit that it was a plot hole that Peter is able to afford the apartment because he's got no money. Um, and then someone else was like, well, May died, so he would have inherited whatever she had, right? And then someone else was like, well, no, because he's uh, not even connected to anybody anymore officially, right? They would have removed all the things. And then someone was like, well, but that happened before that, so maybe he got the money and then he was separated. And, uh, and I was like, I... I don't know how to... I'd like, I, don't I don't know. I how there's any problem with just he made money to well, pay rent. So the funny thing is... <laughs> I, I was talking mainly about all of that. I don't know the answers to all of that, but I felt like... It was an unnecessary conversation because of the amount of ways he could get money. Right. I feel like that's the big thing. It's like, there's no problem here. People, yeah, because, like, as you just mentioned, like, he could have, or he could already have a job. Get a job, yeah. Um, but then there's also just, he might, he might have just saved some money in a play, like, in cash money, you know? He might have saved money. He might have some cash on him. I, I don't, th this, to me, like, that as a conversation just feels like, all right, let's, uh, just chill out a bit. Well, you know? you know, if someone said, whatever you infer for how he got money, you are inventing. And I'd just be like, I don't know that that's true. Human beings just have the capacity to make money, especially where he is. He could just, yeah, we just have to assume he got a job. Well, well yeah, because the idea of, like, inventing stuff for the film is, like, you're kind of going above and beyond to provide an explanation. And similarly, in, like, inventing flaws for the film is going above and beyond and being, like, uncharitable. Yeah, you you just flip it back on them. It's like you yeah. are writing flaws that don't exist. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I don't know. I just I, I just saw that it was a really long conversation. And I was just fascinated by it because I was just like, isn't the obvious answer that he could have just gotten money from like literally anything? There's so many things. But mm -hmm. yeah, like there are ways to make money. Mm -hmm. Many ways. Many ways. Not everything needs to be explained. You know. Like some things money. Are just, like, I don't reasonable know. inference. As for uh, Dark Souls, I would have to play through it again to be able to get stronger thoughts on it again. But I remember thinking that um, when it's like um, it's hard to even call it what it is in Dark Souls a story, uh, as opposed to pieces of stuff, and then you need someone else to put it all together for you. Interactive lore. Kind of, yeah. Uh, and so at that point, when. I don't even know if I... Maybe that was my issue, is that I just shouldn't... I, it's just not really a story at that point. Um, and I don't think that's offensive. It's just what it is. Um, my 10-year-old has decided he wants to be a YouTube... Oh, wants to be YouTube famous. Wish him and I luck. 
Mo, now I gotta learn how to edit. I wonder what old thing I'm gonna forget when I learn this new skill. Oh, well, good luck. I don't know if... Maybe you don't want your 10-year-old to become a YouTube thing until they're a little older. I don't know. Pretty sure that is, like, the most uh, common goal, though, or, like, dream job for uh, Zoomers now, is to be, like... An internet celebrity. Like an influencer, is that it, what they're well, called? It used to be like an astronaut, you know? Like it used to be the, the, the standard ones, like astronaut, firefighter, now it is like YouTuber. Or actress even, like actor. Yeah, now it is YouTuber, I think. It might be TikToker though now, because TikTok um, is like the most popular platform uh, on the internet. Mm. More so than even Google, apparently. Yeah, uh, I just, you know, uh, hopefully he has fun, and um, it is a weird world we're in, because back when we were whippersnappers, the idea of becoming a YouTube wasn't even a thing, like, at all. Yeah. Uh, either of you guys play Outer Wilds? It is now one of my favorite games and probably has the best and most unique method of telling a story within the gaming medium. Also, oh wait, well, so we'll do that first. Uh, I have not. It's been recommended to us I've many not times, played it. Though. it yeah, it has been. Yeah. One of these days, but not yet. Mm -hmm. uh, also, how does the long man go about writing slash organizing his dense, dense scripts? Well, I mean, I'm happy to... It's, I have the same answer at this point that I do whenever someone asks this, but uh, because my process hasn't changed broadly, so... It's, um, we'll take a movie, just watch it. Might make some notes while I'm watching it. And then second time I watch it, I just spill out every last thought I have while pausing as I go through scenes. And then I collect those sort of splurge notes and put them into sections. Usually um, you got the plot, world, character, theme as my four mains. And then uh, start writing the script, going chronologically and just sort of keeping in mind or at least in another note. I usually have three uh, documents at once. And one of them will have like... If, if I'm going through chronologically to uh, uh, assess events, I need to just keep them in mind as I go through. So maybe I talk about, you know, Black Widow's, uh, the section where she falls, like there's a whole thing on that. In my notes, I will put like another instance, severe plot armor, and just, you know, make sure I know it so that when I collect them at the end, then I can see how many they were and how bad they were and stuff. Um, then redraft, redraft, redraft. And um, the critique, though, like the not the rages and praises, the critiques are like that, but on steroids, because you involve a whole bunch of other processes, like looking at interviews, which, my god, can be incredibly tedious, but uh, you can also find some gold in certain interviews here and there. As many of you will know, some of them are famous memes, like when Ben Affleck looks depressed in his BVS interviews. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and yeah, and then, the, and then it becomes the editing process, which is also nightmarish sometimes. Tedious. <laughs> Price. Uh, just got the coof, so please stream more for 14 days. Well, uh, you got us on Saturday. So, <laughs> we'll be streaming as much as we usually do, as far as I know. Uh, mm -hmm. so there you go. In No Way Home, if Norman's sent back to his time, but, like, cured, wouldn't that change the Raimi timeline completely, since his death is pretty pivotal? Yeah. But, uh, mm -hmm. it's not the same... Like, it's because of the multiverse. It's like a weird, multi, weird, a different sort of thing... stuff. Well, like, I'm not appealing to who made it. They, they've said, like, they're supposed to be similar, but variants of, like... The ones we know, and I think you could infer that just from the way that they look slash talk. You could be like, this seems to be things that aren't quite one to one. Um, in a, in a sense that you could argue, well, that's just because the actors are older and they're using different effects on stuff. And you're like, yeah, but in universe, I get to say that they're just different, right? And they're from a different timeline, probably. Like, I I, I don't know if the super chat was worried that it would like fuck with the canon of the Spider-Man films. It's like, don't worry, I'm pretty sure they're like entirely separated in terms of the Raimi films definitely still happened. Even Raimi 3. Spundo Man Trace. Uh, Dougry Scott on EFAP. How do we get him on? I just, I don't know if we can bring in legends such as that, you know? 
He's got his own things to do. He's got movies to be in. I don't think he will ever go to the CW again after that. And I wouldn't blame him. You, you always wonder, with stuff like Batwoman, you wonder what happens behind the scenes. It must have been a shit show. There's all the stuff with the injuries and the fact that the main actress got fired and just all that. This, you just wonder what the hell happened. Uh, Longman, watch the Tom Scott video, Language Sounds That Could Exist But Don't. It talks about the best alphabet there is, with none that have hard G, soft G nonsense. Just one letter for each sound. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I might check it out, I don't know. Happy New Year, fellas. Been watching you guys for some time now, and a big fan of Rwanda. Uh, if you guys have seen Shazam... What were your thoughts? We have not seen it yet. Yeah, that's our... Is it? I was about to say that's our last one, but then I was like, wait, we got... Is it... Nothing else? Is that our last one currently? And then we that got... is the only one that we haven't seen, yeah. Yeah, on we'll the, get there uh, eventually. The uh, also, long man, stay long, my friend. Will do! Um, Alright, so we caught up on every stream lab that came in other than today's. If, if any have come in. Now on to EFAP 166. It was premiered on Moolah. Uh, Super Chats came in on Moolah's side for this. So, and, and so, so this will be all about Revenge of the Sith now. Revenge of the Sith. Mm-hmm. That was fun. Hey there. Hope you're well. The Maker Plushes made great gifts for my roomie. So thank you. Hey. I'm hey, glad. That's good to hear. I gave out a few for uh, Crimbus as well. People are very happy with them. They thought you were very cute, Rags. Thank you. I'm glad you think I'm cute. <laughs> uh, also, hello, chat. Happy Merry. Happy Merry. Happy Merry. Jim Cramer claims the government has the right to force you to obey. Isn't that how you cause a revolution? Who's Jim Cramer? I don't know. Politician person, I'm guessing? I don't know. Um, hi Rags, Mauler, Fringy, and Theodore. Hi, hello right, to you. Is... Yeah, hello. Theodore. Theodore. Oh, I know. Yeah, Jim Cramer. He's the, uh, he's the guy, the stocks guy, you know, who talks in front of the charts. No. Oh. On CNN. Wait, no, not CNN. On, um, CNB confusing msnbc cnbc nbc <laughs> okay he was an iron man i think i know who you're talking about yeah he's the guy he's like I, we gotta talk about the stocks while well, he's got his piece of paper in front of the chart mm -hmm. i know the big thing that there's the meme is that there are many just takes that he got really wrong where it's like hey keep your money investors all right guys <laughs> that's a good idea and then best it's just dropped to like basically nothing invest in hd dvd that is the future hd dvd god that was a thing yeah it was a thing no this blu-ray stuff you gotta go america was hd dvd was that america because blu-ray is sony like sony made blu-ray didn't they and they won they did win I can and see people HD. being like, Blu-ray, you don't even know what that means, but HD DVD, that's, you know, you understand that straight away. H, H, against to it, you know, Blu-ray, like, Is that like Blu-ray, Blu HD DVD, you know, so. <laughs> Apparently it was discontinued only two years after it came out, came out in March 2006, discontinued Defeated. in March 2008. Uh, Santa is actually the Norse god Odin's most popular alt account. Um, reverting? Reverting? From the nighttime flying, the iconic chimney move are a direct rip. Iconic chimney move. To ev everting, everting from the nighttime flaying to the iconic chimney move are a decent, a direct rip. I'm not, I'm not 100%. I, I'm, I'm, I'm falling out of that one as I read it, because I am. Um, Clearly unable to comprehend. 
Uh, new Sex in the City show worse than Batwoman episode one. You know, guys, I was gonna say, but I just figured you'd say no uh, to watching Sex in the City's newest season. Is it? I'm not. Is it Sex in the City or Sex and the City? It's Sex and the City. Okay. You got Sex. It, you why, got the city. Sorry. Yeah, it is. It is. You made you double take. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 You're like, yeah. That is. That's what it is, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. To be fair, I don't think any of us have watched much of it. You know, we've watched a few episodes, of course. Everyone has, but I just, you know. I've experienced both of those things, mm. but I've never watched the show. Your loss, I suppose. My order would be Empire, Return. No wait, New Hope. Sorry, Rogue One, then Return. And three, then one, then two. Rogue is the only Disney Star Wars movie I'm willing to rewatch for entertainment value. Yeah, I haven't seen it in ages now. Mm. I only saw it the once. We'll give it a rewatch. I just didn't care to point. see it again. People want Rogue One coverage because we've covered pretty much all the prequels now. Um, yeah, I think so. Then we got. And quite well. We've definitely covered TFA, TLJ, and Tross. Those are definitely done. Oh, yes. We've we, talked about them once or twice. It could be said that we've not really covered the OT in any significant way. We've we've had bits and bobs here and there, but... Uh, Solo... Did we do anything for Solo on EFAB? I think we did bits and bobs. Um, I'm trying to remember. And then, yeah, well, Rogue One hasn't really gotten anything. Uh, but we'll get to it at some point. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Hello, did you know that Fringy is the offspring of Gonzo and Bid Big Bird? Oh. It's interesting. interesting yeah. How else do you get a bellow creature with a nose slash beak thing? Stop lying, Fringy, it's not a mask. Oh. It is bellow a mask. Creature? I don't know what to say to that. It's a mask. Well, if it's a mask, I'm looking at your, your gingerbread person right there. And it's not a mask. It's clearly part of your face. Oh, yeah, that's... Past Christmas, probably ought to change the back. No, it's not. It's Christmas until the Epiphany. Mm -hmm. When's that? Uh, I think it is... Um, I'm going to double check what it is this year. January 6th. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, there you but you go. can change it whenever you want, and if you do, I will. Because you know, it's just the way match, but... I'm going to yeah. wait until it the It is all first, matching. I don't want to screw that up. That's fair. I think that's a good compromise. Because people will be like, it's January 5th, let go already. <laughs> it's done. You have to move on it's with your life. Done. Can't be living in this sin. place. In sin. You can't be living in sin. This just says seismic shaming. I, oh, I, uh, nice. Did we do any seismic shaming? I don't remember. Hmm. Uh, been catching these live since episode 66. Glad to see this great episode on the best of the prequels. Fair enough, yeah. I, I think it was a good episode. Seemed to be popular among the, the flams. The flims and the flams, so it's good. Glad you're having fun with it. Hello, long man and the good boy Rags. What video editing Hello. do you guys use? Vegas. Sony Vegas. Vegas. Um, As of... Um, not long ago, 19, I upgraded. And if you buy an old version and you register it, when you get the new version, you get half off. It took off like a hundred bucks. There you go. Uh, Alex Jones' explanation of the prequel trilogy is what Georgie intended. Um, is, is, I'm more interested in his passion when explaining it rather than, like, it, the stuff he says is stuff I figure most people knew, like, uh, Palpatine's plans in a broad sense. It's just, uh, it's really cool to see it all said so, like, especially by, like, a newscasty type person, so that it seems like a real thing that happened, almost. Because he's very, like, into it. I just, I love the idea that Alex Jones enjoyed the prequels, you know. I just want to watch it with him. Absolutely. Hello, long man, rag man, and goo man. Hello. Hello to you. 
nothing from the good Yo. I know we're talking about startism today, but if Garfield Spider-Man was to fight an alien, who would he fight? Um, that's an odd question. Venom, if he was to fight an alien, who would it be? Why, yeah, I don't, why I don't, it be Venom? I don't know why, why would it be one more than another? Are they asking if yeah. us for like to make up one that we would like him to fight or something? Because I don't know. I mean, at that point, you're just inventing it. What what superpowers do you want? Oh, they're from space. Which means you can do anything you want. Kind of, yeah. You're just like, what what kind of a person do you want them to fight? And then just say they're from outer space. It's just it's an odd question. Make him fight Atticus. Atticus is an alien. Okay, it's a Godfield Spider-Man versus an Anakin. Yeah, I, I guess I, I'm fine with seeing him battle a Venom, I guess, or I, I guess as aliens go, I just... I don't have a preference, really. I just hope they do it well. Whatever it is. Just hope they do it well. Because um, we could be close to them announcing that Amazing Spider-Man 3 is in the works. I've seen a couple of different articles saying there are rumblings. Destroy the plinket. Do it. Oh my god. Semi destroyed. I mean, yeah, it looks like a mixed bag, half and half. Pretty much. Star War: The Third Gathers. Uh. Best of the worst is Meme Central. I don't disagree. Lots of good memes. Uh, should the Clone Wars animated movie be considered a prequel? Uh, um, a prequel to what? In terms like of where the it sits in the timeline, I, I guess. I guess so. technically, right? Hmm. Um, you can't watch it. Why? Well, I, 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 the animated movie is that is another one that people don't like. They like the two thousand three. Because they like the no, Hunter One TV show one, but they don't like the animated movie, from what I remember. Which is a compilation of the first four episodes of the Clone Wars animated series, the the CGI one. Oh. Oh, they just took the show the and don't like it. Yeah, they took four episodes of the show and spliced them together into one movie, and yeah, people don't like it. Yeah. So oh yeah, that it. sounds shit. Yeah. We meme it, but there's no question Anakin is evil after killing kids. Definitive direction for a character which was lacking for Kylo in the sequels. I feel like Kylo killing Han is still pretty definitive. I yeah. still, I feel like his being okay with the destruction of planets and all that just makes yeah. him really, really... He's he's an evil bastard. Yeah, and then he blows up... Uh, oh, wait, no. What is he doing... Last year he kill he, he thinks of ki no he still blows up the hangar yeah he still kills a whole bunch of rebels yeah before they're even like up and ready I mean I guess I guess from that aspect that's not evil in a that's sense war, right I guess, right? Just, I guess that's just part of the warfare aspect I don't know if we can say that when like the context is literally them just they're running away and they're not even right, fighting true. yeah true. I don't know maybe well you. Well, they're as enemy combatants who, you know, it's like they're they're still on the ship, and if they run away, then they'll still be able to fight you later. And they're they are on an like essentially an airfield, running into their fighter ships to try and shoot you down. Um, like, I mean, it's like if if an it's enemy not, takes evasive action, it's not the worst thing he's done by a long shot, of course. Oh yeah, yeah, it's it's not even yeah, he's done terrible things. He's a very, very bad person. Just because he kisses Ray before he dies doesn't spoilers. That doesn't mean <laughs> that he's like rid just yeah, fuck fuck Kylo. Kylo didn't blow up the hangar as Wingman did? Nope. Kylo blew up the hangar. He considers blowing up uh Leia, but then his wingman do. Wow, Spark the light bulb. Are you not a TLJ fan like me? Yeah, are you not a, an archivist for The Last Jedi? A Do you not know all of the historian? The mega references? 
Uh, should have watched the excellent Tartakovsky's Clone Wars before this. Puts Filoni's Ahsoka show to shame. Hmm. I mean, that's the one that a lot of people say that we would probably like. I don't know. Maybe we would. I've seen parts of it. I've liked what I've seen, but that was a long time ago. Uh, what too much pizza does to a motherfucker. Also, hello, doggy. Hi. Hello, doggy. We talking about movie Bob or? I guess Plinket, but because he had lots of pizza rolls. Pizza. Pizza rolls. That's way different. Yeah, people need to understand the difference there. It's important. Used to get free pizza rolls for signing into his web zone. It was really cool. Yeah. Web zone. Uh, Virgin Jedi. Just don't care, lol. Chad Sith. Passion brings strength, which brings victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The Force shall free me. It's <laughs> a way to summarize it, I guess. Uh, the Jedi is immunized against all checks and balances, but call him what he is and watch him recoil in horror. I have been found out. Is that a quote from one of the I other guess that's things? a reference from something else? I imagine or... it probably is, yeah. Like the Warhammer thing. Loki wish you had Anomaly here to defend some of the scenes, even though he is a bad man now. We, why, it's annoying that people are like, oh, you need to bring out the person to defend the thing, it's like... But he's you, bad at it. We also, like, we can do that. There are plenty of things that we shit on that you don't care that there isn't somebody who's, like, We'll take care of it. The whole thing. fucking point is that we're doing this from yeah, but, unbiased right. position. Like, if your argument was just, well, more people, more minds, more opinions and stuff, it's like, well, yeah, at that point, why not just bring in loads of people, right? Like, why stop at one? Bring in a million people. The point of the show is that you get people. us three for the, well, pretty much all of it now, uh, hopefully. <laughs> the midis, gaming, yeah. whatever. Um, but like, yeah, it just, it, it just feels weird. It always seems like a defensive move, even though we, we, uh, we defended Revenge of the Sith on a couple points. Sure. Mm -hmm. More than a couple. Yeah. We were quite fair to Revenge of the Sith, but that movie's just not good. No, and there was a good movie buried in there. But at the but same in time, its current form, it's not good. I think some people can be really piss poor at criticizing stuff that is agreed upon to be bad. You know, like like look at I feel like Phil Mento is one of the top tierest people for that. He'll he'll note what the current zeitgeist is on a particular piece of media, and then he'll just be like, "Let me explain why." And you're like, oh, "Okay, cool. What, what's the reason?" Like, well, obviously, from the school of closer look as well. They'll, they'll, they'll come up with these really weird things and say the film does it, but this film over here that we don't like doesn't. And you're like, oh. It's kind of like uh, thinking about it. Macabre storytelling. Obviously pretentious, sarcastic productions. That was it, right? Overly yeah. sarcastic productions. Uh, that yeah. was it. Sorry, I'm making it up. shit up. Yeah, just... You're not supposed to kill people off camera. Doing that is bad. And you're just sitting there like, where did you get this from? Did you make this up for this video, or did you just did you just see one character that you wanted to see die on screen, and so now that's just a rule for all things? Yeah. Makes you wonder. But yeah, uh, you know, I just I think I think we're fine. I think we did we did fine. Didn't need anyone. Definitely not anomaly, ain't guys. <laughs> No, y if if he's the one who's supposed to defend the prequels, that's it's not good. Uh, the prequels are all of the prequels are bad, mm -hmm. all of them. I would I hope that my thing isn't defending the prequels. How how fucking embarrassing! Those movies are bad. They're very bad. They're funny though. They are funny though. The mind control chips from the Clone Wars are idiotic, but to be fair, those episodes were done after Disney bought Star Wars. I blame them. Interesting. It's funny, whenever like we, we got onto topics where a tidbit would come up from Theo about the Clone Wars, every time he did anything about it, I'd, I'd always just be like, what? <laughs> like that, that's something that happens? Okay. That's the fucking his mind wiping, memory erasing. We told you the thing that you can't know, so we have to erase your memory. Like, oh. <laughs> Alright. 
Okay. Uh, the clone is drugged, that's why he can't say anything about Order 66. I don't, I don't even know what part we're talking about of that. I clone is either. drugged, so he can't say anything about Order 66. Oh, I guess the clone who who discovers the plan in the Clone Wars? Oh, Theo Order was 66? saying, yeah, Theo, I remember. Yeah, well, apparently he can't say anything about it. Like, I'm not gonna talk about anything to do with that. That'll be up to Theo if you were here. Uh, it's now my head canon that the big blue library in the Jedi Temple is filled with all the stories a Jedi wrote while at Starbucks. Yeah, why not? Star Wars, Starbucks? You destroy all of those in uh, as a mission in Battlefront 2. Do you guys remember that? I do remember that, yeah. It's like you but, think that you would want to have access to those. Well, but... it might be useful information in there, you know, because the whole Absolutely. idea, I think, is to wipe out the Jedi culture as well. So, but you want to check it first, just in case. Yeah, you want to download it all and go through it, see if there's anything valuable or, you know, yeah. important. Um, in keeping with the Mandalorian canon, all the drinks at Jedi Starbucks are also blue. Excellent. Gotta make sure they nail that. Uh, 501st journals in Battlefront 2 are better than the Clone Wars. I hated those dumb chips. Yeah, I quite like the journal entries in that game. That's cool. Yeah. Vader blew up a planet. He would tear those children apart. No argument. That's that's retroactive in, in the context of the fucking timeline. 19 years later, he might blow up a planet, because we have no idea exactly how far he's fallen. In fact, you've got them reversed. It's that he killed children, so now everything's on the table. Um, versus he killed children bizarrely after everything we've seen in the first two and a half films. You can't it use that he blew up a planet, or at least stood by while the planet blew up that's as evidence that you'd, you'd kill children, yeah. That's not how characters Why? work. World War II was a thing. What does that have to do with anything? I mean, oh, what is going on? Um, uh, okay, like, if anybody's know? confused, it was out of character for Anakin to kill the children with how he'd been characterized in the first, second, and first third of the films. There are children on the planet. Are you. What's happening in chat right now? Oh, like the planet that Darth Vader blew up later on? 19 years later. That like is not an argument for why he did exactly. something then. Nothing he does after that can be used. You... Yeah. It is It is unreal to me that anybody could try to argue that the pivot to, like, full-blown evil makes any sense, given who he is. Yeah, it doesn't he work. He just immediately flips and turns into a completely, like, irredeemable monster, basically. In like a day. In a couple of hours. You yeah, defend that. Oh, you defend the books in Battlefront, you don't destroy them? I might have remembered that wrong, yeah. Maybe you do defend them. Because I think you have to stop the oh, Jedi. Oh wait, from maybe the Jedi them. are yeah. Oh oh is that it? The Jedi are trying to sabotage them so you can't get them. I think and you that might do be want it, yeah. them. Oh, so, I well, see. That makes sense. About sand people. He killed the Tuscan children, which is also out of character. <laughs> yeah. What is this? Like, this guys, these are the arguments they made for Daenerys. They were like, she did some crazy things before, so make doing other crazy things, you know? Yeah, so destroying an yeah, entire city filled while. with she's, millions of innocent people. She's executed people before. She's done things. It was like, no, stop. And hey, look, she had a really bad day, alright? So yeah, She did have a really bad day, that's true. Blew up a planet full of kindergartners, probably. That's the new hope. You killed those rebels in Rogue One? Alright, now you're fucking with me. <laughs> <laughs> he tried spinning. And, you know, th there's arguments to be made here that uh, he didn't blow up Alderaan, and it's a military target, as said by Tarkin. Yeah. Like, you, you could argue that's a that's bullshit because it kind of is. But I mean, that's how it can be argued, and it's used as leverage. And 
It's also the overall plans of stranglehold of the Empire. Like, Anakin just executing all the children doesn't fucking work. Bright Anakin doesn't suddenly become evil, he slowly turns into a monster due to manipulation, like, come on. He chops get... off Mace Windu's head, and then he says, what have I done? And then he just- Kills children! <laughs> <and Kimball. laughs> how do you- how do you show that much remorse for a hand, and then- <laughs> <laughs> Just like two hours later, it's like, well, here I go kill it again. So the problem is that what what was meant to happen in those films was steady manipulation. Unfortunately, it's poorly executed. It's really badly executed. So it's the biggest flaw in the so film. So that's not what we see. Completely Absolutely. fucks his character up. Those children probably like sand. Yeah. <laughs> they had their chance. Killing kids is like Pringles. Yeah. Probably. Tarkin did not call it a military target. He can argue it. It doesn't have to be explicit. But he mentions a military target in uh, when he's asking Leia for an alternative. He didn't even want to kill Dooku like three days earlier? Yeah, remember? He said I shouldn't. <laughs> then he did it. And he but... kind of felt bad about it. <laughs> it... And... Like, I, I know and there's some people out there Dooku. who really think it works. It doesn't fucking it doesn't. work. I'm sorry. And it's really unfortunate. Well, because you could have had a really great story there, but then you just didn't do it well. It's just like, to me, it's just George was like, this will tell the audience he's gone too far. And it's like, yeah, it will. But not for good reason. Alderaan was a much higher profile target to make a worthwhile demonstration. Like I said, I, I'm pretty sure the whole idea there is to just show the power of the Empire and that when they've dissolved the uh, Council, there's not a matter of... You don't start war against the Empire now because they have that. Yeah. Everything they say goes. But then the rebels, those pesky bastards, they blow it up. That's right. So the Empire try to make another one. And then mm. the wreckage of that one falls in just the way that this ancient knife, like, <laughs> lines up. But, and then they go in to do the stuff, and there was a secret little compartment for the Emperor where he had other crazy stuff. I mean, the sequels were fantastic. They made such great use of stuff we already knew about. Yeah. Everybody's happy with those films, you know, everybody's super content. There are there are plenty of people out there who are like, you know what, all three of them tell this really great cohesive story. Finish. The youngs took Anakin's nuggies, that's that's not shown. You'd have to but show it. But that would redeem him. Yeah. It's the pivotal it's the it's the key to all of this. The Nuggies are the key to all of this. Him killing those sand kids makes more sense because he does it shortly after his mother died. I don't, like, I just, so, you know, like, Iron Man going nuts and killing um, Bucky because he killed his mom and stuff. If Bucky had a son, this is like that fucking two-year-old, no fucking way Iron Man kills that kid. And if someone's like, why are you comparing Iron Man and Anakin? I'd just be like, because we're comparing human beings at this point. The idea that Anakin is sad that his mom has died, that's why he killed a bunch of Tusken Raider children. Like, I don't... Doesn't follow to well, me. Yeah, because imagine the imagery of the little Tuscan children like huddling in a corner, and then he just starts chopping them up. It doesn't it doesn't work. Absurd. It's just like, why would you do Unreal. that? Unreal. You, there's no way. It doesn't follow at all. Even in like a murderous rage, it doesn't make sense. They didn't do anything. I mean, I, I guess maybe if you're They're just like a really list. angry, mad person and sure, that happens, maybe... Sure, but how in the world is he even capable of having, like, any level of control at all if he's that unhinged? I just don't maybe see how... It's it... because the death of the mom is the catalyst necessary? To kill children? I don't I... understand. I don't see I, it. I mean, it's not necessarily... I, I guess it's not rational. But there's, there's a through line with killing the Tusken Raiders. They're the ones sure. that captured her, and have resulted, like that's where her death comes from. Going after like children, I don't understand why. Well, he maybe he he sees them as they they will grow up to be evil, just like the rest are. They're scum like the rest of them. Do you believe this? No, I'm saying from his point of view. 
Yeah, I'm saying that's absurd. From a certain from a certain point of view. Cause like, what the hell? He would have to be like dumb as a post to believe that. Especially if he believes that about the younglings. Not that I'm saying <laughs> Not that I'm saying Tuscan Raiders are just worse as people. Are Tuscan Raider babies, are they born with their face all wrapped up and I have shit? no idea. I, not, I think they but... probably definitely are. <laughs> it's just come out with a little and the goggles and everything. A little mask thing and the eyeball. A little sniper like, rifle. Yeah, a little sniper rifle. It could make more sense if you say Anakin is psychopathic. Like, oh, that's great, isn't it? He's just. He's just evil. a psycho. <laughs> Those children were orphans that they could never be loved anyway. It's true. Mm. <laughs> You're really, you're just doing them a service, really. Is that the most bizarre thing, or is it more bizarre that Pad Padme's reaction to knowing that? Well... It's hard to choose. It's not well written, right? No. Tuscan Raiders literally kidnap and murder children themselves. They don't deserve children. So we kill them? Man. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> it's like... Did you really type that out? Like, I'm gonna tell EFAP that Tuscan Raiders don't even deserve to have children. That'll that'll clear everything up. <laughs> I... <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll just move on. <laughs> yeah. Kills uh, Kills them all. Yeah, sorry, was, the, the super chat itself said he would tear those children apart, no argument, evidence, he blew up Alderaan. <laughs> it was just like, oh god, you people with the arguments are horrible. It's not a, not a good argument. It's not a good argument. And I that's honestly like saying, think... That's like, like saying when Hitler was 20 years old, like, he would just murder Jews because eventually he would do the Holocaust. It's like, that's not how this works. It's not how it works, no. And I'm starting to think that, like, you know, we had those suggestions for what they could have done that we think would have been better. Had any yeah. of those ones been canon and what actually happened, I feel like if we had then said on EFAP, you know what would have been better? Is if he walks into the room filled with children and just slices them all to pieces. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like these same people would be like, well, no. Because that would be extreme. And, you know, that's, that's, that would be out of character. But because it's what happened, they have to defend it. It's just like, chill out. It's dumb. It, it breaks him as a person. It was done really fast. There were so much better ways of doing it. And it really undermines the process of turning a good man into a shell who's filled with rage. I'm doing it to save my lovely wife. Like, okay. Anakin already killed children in the last movie. What are you smoking? Yeah, that's the same person, by the way. Just, that argument ain't gonna work with me. <laughs> he super chatted again to say I've never disagreed with EFAP to this extent. That he wouldn't... Uh, really? Uh, that Anakin uh, wouldn't murder all the children. <laughs> On the, if anything, it makes more "quote unquote" sense to kill the Tuscan Raider children, and then less sense to kill the younglings. So it's like a—it's the opposite of a progression. Um, what are you saying? Like, you, well, I think it's more understandable to kill the Tuscan Raider children in that scenario than it is to kill the younglings in that scenario. So it would be like oh, the right, opposite in the scenarios, of becoming yeah, yeah. more and more evil. Yeah. Because, yeah, because, like, in one, at least you've got the argument that he's just seen his mum die and he's super angry. At least you have that. And the other one, it's just Palpatine saying, go kill some children. Trust me. And it's just hard to swallow when um, the first third of the film is, like, Anakin is a straight-up bona fide hero. And he'll put his life on the line to save people. Also, he kills children. You're like, this doesn't seem to be, like, coherent. Um, Obi-Wan was actually okay with the kid killing, and Clone Wars, Anakin and him do it on the weekends. Really fixed a lot. Thanks, Filoni. Um, wow. 
Yeah, I don't know, maybe. Maybe, maybe kid killing is like, common in the animated show and it really informs the context of uh, good old Revenge of the Sith. We don't say kid killing, we see youngling slicing. Mm hmm. He killed younglings. Uh, dying from losing the will to live is actually possible. It's called psychogenic death, and it's documented as a phenomenon, not a plot hole. I don't think I've ever called it a plot hole. Um, it's a hyper inconvenience, and I don't think I think it damages Le uh, sorry Padme's character. Um, I think we did we talk about it on the thing, but the fact that she would lose the will to live when she's just birthed two children. It just feels odd. Like usually. So psycho. Go ahead. Go on. Uh, psychogenic itself means that it ha it's it's a it's psychological in origin or cause, not physical. So psychogenic debt, like ha losing the will to live. I don't think that is um, that's the setup for how you can die, but that in and of itself, I don't think kills you. Like I don't think you could just will your organs and stuff to stop working. Like you, you can't hold your breath and kill yourself. Your body just will not allow you to do that. Um, I don't think you can just die from not having the will to live. That can be deadly in a scenario where you need to have the will to live to do things. But like, if you don't have the will to live in a survival scenario, it's not that which will kill you. It's the dehydration or the starvation or some disease that you catch that will kill you. As far as I'm aware. I see what you're saying, like, because um, my understanding of it contextually was always tied to you through your willpower can improve or uh, lower your odds of survival. Um, the first thing they tell us in survival training, positive mental attitude. And so she's going through a pretty stressful physical pain. And then the robots say, uh, did they say they couldn't find anything wrong with her? I can't remember the exact really? dialogue, but it's weird. Um, there was really nothing like whether that or not you want to live. Point to any... Yes, but not like it's not just like you can't just I die now. Like that's not how it works. You can choose that you don't want to live anymore. People do that all the time, unfortunately. Yeah. But it's that in and of itself. That desire, that choice, isn't going to be what kills you. It will lead you to do something or to neglect something that will cause your death. Broken hearts can kill. Yeah, that that can come in as well. Um, I mean, like a literal broken heart. Well, is like an extreme loss or grief. It can actually like pull on strings or whatever and snap them in your heart or something like that. I remember reading about it. Maybe. Uh... But like, I don't know that. I, I'd have to check. But does that actually happen to people who are as young as Padme? It looks. Let's see. It says. Um... You can die of a broken heart, but it's also extremely unlikely. It's called broken heart syndrome, and it can happen when an extremely emotional or traumatic event triggers a surge of stress hormones, and these hormones can put you in short-term heart failure, which can be life-threatening. I've definitely heard of that. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't seem I don't like think... it would be what we see there. Yeah, there's a few other factors that would have to be accounted for. One, they would have a cause of death and a problem. They'd be like, her heart is failing. Yeah, like, it wouldn't be we don't know why she's dying. Like, I don't, this is In space magic Wars future. Universe? I don't believe yeah. it. You've cure, you can cure anything. Um, but in terms of like the scenario that she's in, it's difficult to believe that like you've just given birth to your children and you're like, and I'm just just gonna die of a broken And by the heart. way, so someone posted the dialogue. Medically, she's completely healthy for reasons we can't explain. We're losing her. She's dying. We okay, don't know so why is... she's lost the will to live. So it's not a broken heart then, because that would yeah, be something cause... we can identify. Yes, I mean, we can do that yeah. with our world. They fucked themselves up when they said medically she's completely healthy. Because that's what you are. Well, sorry, like, she should probably be alive then, but she yeah. just dies. If you're, yeah, if you die, you're not medically completely healthy. Um, and, you know, can we just be honest for a second and say that they probably knew 
a little too late that she needed to die in the storyline, and for some reason George Lucas just didn't make her die in childbirth. He instead chose that she died of sadness. Or Yeah, it should have been like she died from her injuries. Absolutely, that... just say that she bled out, unfortunately. It was a really rough pregnancy. I mean, that's the lie that Palpatine told him. Well, yeah, he said that you killed her, I guess. Yeah. And then he says the, the words, and then we laugh, and then we <laughs> go on. No, she couldn't have. It was I alive. felt it. I felt it. It was alive. No. Palpatine used the Force to drain Padme life force. You, we got to do a lot of Palpatine work to the argue force that. Killed her. You made that up. <laughs> We made that up. Yeah. <laughs> That's just, that that's is, it is a, it is a known of. fan theory, but it is only a fan theory. There's so little to support that in the film at all. Someone said, yeah, but how did Palpatine know that Padme died? It's on the fucking um, news. I don't know. Well, may, well, maybe at the time, or I don't know, I guess it depends on what the timeline is. I mean, it would have been announced. He's like a senator. I was going to say, I, I don't see why that wouldn't the be on the timeline news. when he's... It's, I guess it's when he's when the events happen. Well, so, oh. so I don't see the problem in terms of the timeline because it's not like Anakin would have had access to any of this information. Well, to, what just I want to clarify: is how, Are we yeah? assuming that they took place exactly the same time as they're shown in the film? Because I don't, I don't, I don't know I don't that know. that's true. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know why we would assume that. that necessarily. It could be an issue, but it's probably not. What I want to know is. How come Padme, this high-profile politician, is unmarried, and she's pregnant, and no one knows who the father is or who she's hanging out with, but she does hang out with that, that Anakin guy all the time, but he's a Jedi, and oh my goodness. You see, Dude. the Star Wars universe, need, it, it is lacking two things that are significantly impactful to the story, which are journalists and tabloid writers. Yeah. I was just thinking... Did she not have any family at all? Because you think that she would? If she did, and they were aware of her death and pregnancy, holy fuck! Could you imagine? You're like, what happened to her children? And Obi Wan is just like, hmm. Her um, kids, the, the the two kids that she had. Did they where, did they die did they officially go? or? What what uh, yeah? Because like, that has to be accounted thing. for, right? These these are these 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 elements like you have all the bricks of the story and you have all the cement and stuff in between them that makes them fuse together and it's just there's just it's just bricks stacked on top of each other messily mm. and there's like holes in them and that's what these movies sort of are. <laughs> Obi Wan's like it was Anakin he killed a whole bunch of children. Anakin killed yeah he killed younglings and then he came back in his space costume. And he killed them. I've never thought it's about just, that. Like, weird. all the people who care about her would obviously care about her kids, and they've just disappeared off the face of the earth, so there must be an official story that they were just... they died. She's this high... Um, she, she's this high-profile politician who was an ex-queen of a planet? Well, yeah, you saw or her funeral, right? Her funeral was huge. Yeah. And then, yeah. like, she, again, she gets pregnant, and she, she apparently, she's clearly having an affair, and no one cares, and no one cares that the, the young, attractive, healthy Jedi that's constantly bodyguarding her and protecting her, I, I, blame mm, them on Jar Jar, uh, Jar Jar killed them. Jar Jar killed them, <laughs> it was Jar Jar. Oh, dude, yeah, even Jar- like, I can't believe we pointed this out. Jar Jar would probably be like, what happened to her children? Did she give birth? Yeah. Like, that's like the queen of my planet, even though it's his probably secondary government with being in the Gungans, but there's... Like, remember at the end of uh, the first movie? Where there was like a big thing where the Gungans and the Naboo- Naboo beings, yeah, yeah. and they were- they had the peace orb from the science museum and he lifts it up and he says peace and everyone's like happy and together and apparently nothing came of that because no one gives a shit about Padme dying. Yeah, the, the only... They covered up their births and let everyone think they died with her. But they know... I mean, that's that's the best faith interpretation you can get from the movies without... They possible. give us like nothing to, to go with that but I guess uh, they'd have to get... Do they... Like, it, it feels awkward to ask but just... Did they get bodies then? Did they fake medical reports? And, you know, 
the Undertaker? Did they get bodies for the family, or did you know? If it, like imagine watching like that extra five minute scene where Obi Wan and Yoda are fucking faking like autopsy records and stuff. It's just like oh my god. Are you gonna stop me to tell me to stop in certain head cannon even more and rags are doing it? No, 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 we're wondering what happens. We're asking very reasonable questions about basic behavior of societies. Yeah, like that I forgot that people love Padme because like she's a kind of wooden Just... and personless in the films. <laughs> like Yeah. Padme's barely like a character. She's barely a human being. Because the but characters in, universe... in this series are just shit. But in um, universe, she's very important. Yes, in universe, she's very important. And she's well liked. Literally, the queen of a planet. She's one. Of, she's probably one of the most high-profile politicians on Coruscant, considering the assassination attempts. And you could argue that and her involvement the war, with the Trade Federation. Yeah, the war with the war. Trade Federation and Phantom Menace could be considered the progenitor of the Clone Wars. Like, oh, it, it's undeniable. There's no way that you could say it wouldn't be. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's the thing, but you have, if you introduce journalists to this world, like, the story falls apart, it doesn't work. It'd be so cool Just if they were, as well. Like, yeah, like, what happened characters... with the Jedi? What happened with this? What happened with that? And it was like, oh, Characters just looking for the truth, and we follow, like, one of them. That it was this. Um... Hello again. What's everyone's, but mostly Rags' favorite ELO song and or album? Also, hello Rag. Hello. Um, my favorite album is probably Time. As far as favorite songs go, it's really tough because I like a lot of them and they sort of cycle in and out of my favorites. Um, uh, let me... Uh, let me see. Obviously, Mr. Blue Sky is up there. Hold on tight. Don't bring me down. Turn to stone. Calling America is big up there. Um, same thing with Twilight. Uh, uh, Strange Magic and Confusion are good. Rollover Beethoven's pretty nifty. There's just a bunch. They made a bunch of really, really good songs. They are my favorite band. They're they have an insane amount of good stuff. Um, so I, I, I uh, hopefully, hopefully that's helped. But there's so many. Mm -hmm. I uh I don't know. So I'll just defer. Like whatever rags goes with. I like Mr. Blue Sky. Yeah, that's that's their most famous song um, yeah. but they they just I made got some so really much cool stuff. album covers though just they do yeah going through them they're really cool it's like that it's that 80s style i miss where it's like they got the like just full-on painted you know in these full-blown illustrations going going for like a level of photorealism it's it's, it's a neat style i um, kind of stopped doing those posters now though yeah, chat. Um, living thing, L living thing was from a New World record that was in '76, um, a year before Mr. Blue Sky. But they did concept albums about. Uh, oh, Rags. I almost want you to what? read it. Yeah. At James War, if you refuse to use third-party sources, then you're not going to get the whole picture. What would you base your whole opinion on the Nazis from their perspective? No, you use other sources. They're referring to us understanding the movie. I thought my Hitler references were weird. I just, like... Wow. <laughs> That's not the fucking point if when we say that. The movie, if, it's, if it's not in the movie and it's very important and you don't tell me anything about it, that's a gap <laughs> in knowledge that we need to know. To understand the cause okay. and effect of the events, not... <laughs> understanding <laughs> history. Like, what are you talking about? It's been a, it's been a funny kind of day. That has been an odd day. Whenever you talk about the prequels, you always get someone, or more than one. <laughs> Guys, those movies are bad. Those those movies are bad. They're all bad. 
I, yeah, uh, <laughs> whatever you were saying, go right ahead. I just, I was just really surprised when I saw that. Unless you were done, I don't know. Mm. Were you done? I guess you were. No, yeah, I guess, yeah. Um, yeah, the, these, these movies are bad. All right. Uh... Book of Boba Fett, will you cover it? Well, uh, what, what time are we up to right now? I don't know, I'll probably, I'll honestly, I'll, I think I want to take a nap after this. Um, well, but when is after this, up, though? I, I guess I don't know. Whenever we're done, I don't know that, That's what I said there. earlier, was that if we end an hour earlier than whatever was anyone's limit, then we can watch it. Because, like I said, I'll have to be the one that's editing these, um, and so... I can get started as soon as possible if we do it today rather than tomorrow. Yeah, um... I don't know, I'm just, I'm just kind of tired. Uh, so how much time do you have in you from now? If... I don't know, I know if we ended right now, I'd go to sleep. Um, hmm. If if How long will you be up, I guess, today to do this? Well... I was more so aiming for a lot longer, but, uh, you know. Because if I could get, like, a couple hours to just lay down, I would be fine with doing it after that. Uh, we can do that. If you want to. Right. I'm assuming Fringy would be on board, I and mean, it's just muted for now. Uh, well, then, so in that case, when would you want to, um, stop this stream? Um... I can go for a bit longer, but I, um, I don't know, I, I guess I just woke up drowsy for whatever reason and tired. Um, enough to do a super chat catch up if it was short enough, but let's see, what time is it now? 3.45. We can go a bit longer if you want to get to the three hour mark. Should you be discussing your business plans in the middle of a stream? When it regards how long the stream's gonna last, yeah. Because <laughs> I gotta Discussing know when we're stopping. Plans. I mean, it's not, it's not like a big deal. It's not like we're talking about finances or, no, no. like, you know, like what we think about content creators behind their back. It's just like, how tired are you? Do you want to do this now or not? It's not like a big, crazy secret. Yeah, because like for those who don't know, it can be awkward because the, you know, all of us have different sleep schedules, and yet this is a. A thing that can take some time, so sometimes people, yeah. are, you know, it just doesn't we're always a, work out perfectly. Yeah, we're just on different corners of the world, and sometimes, yeah. like I, like, like me, sometimes I can just wake up, and I'll just be tired timelines. when I wake up. Yeah, we span the major timelines, right? Time zones. Well, I mean, admittedly, uh, I would say my sleep schedule has absolutely shifted. I, uh, I'm much more a morning person now than I was before. It's probably um, a good thing in general, because it's just leans in yeah. towards, like, when most people are around, like, you stream in the morning, because that's when most people do it in the afternoon or in the evening, but I mean, it's the morning, because it's best <clears> for everybody else. Well, so, um, we're just trying to figure out, so, do you, because, uh, Rag's gonna want to go to sleep whenever this, uh, what we're doing right now ends, so that he can have enough... Oh, okay, I guess I missed this, right? And a <laughs> so John good, but... for good old uh, Mando? Uh, Boba. Yeah, because yeah. I... Because oh, if sorry, we started brother, watching yeah. the episode right now, I just, I would be distracted by how tired I am. Okay, yeah, sure. I mean, I, like I said, I can do it tomorrow. That's fine with me. Well, I... You can do it, or later today is fine with me. If I could just lay down oh, for a like bit. Oh, like, later today. Yeah, because um, I'll be awake for a while. Because it's only an episode, right? Yeah, we... and I assume they're like 40 minutes. I... Sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how it lines up, because I've got stuff later, but uh, but we'll see if it lines up. There's still plenty of time before I'm, like, unavailable, so... I'll okay. be working on stuff. Well, in that sure. case, to accommodate, should we... end now, or do... Uh... We can go... We can do another ten minutes or so and hit the three-hour mark. Very oh. well. Okay, alright, sure. <laughs> I figured it would be going longer than that, but... Oh, we, Sorry, we... guys. Maybe, um... Maybe well, we could. Well... What about doing one tomorrow, if, if, if we do Boba Fett tonight? Hey, I'm here. I'm well, I'm here for one tomorrow. Yeah, yeah so I'm here for it. Give them give them two instead. Uh, of one. that's that's totally cool with me as well. Yeah, I am down there, with it. There, we found a solution, Efab Chat. 
Hooray, we did well, it. All of our business we were open and transparent with our... Uh, well, yeah, we got another 16 minutes before then, but we'll probably stop at around 10-ish and... Because you know. uh, this will be EFAP Mini Super Chat Ketchup Streamlabs plus EFAP 165 slash 166 part one of two. And tomorrow we'll do EFAP Mini Super Chat Ketchup Streamlabs plus EFAP 165 slash 166 part two of two. Yeah, mm -hmm. because we haven't... Well, we'll have more Streamlabs by tomorrow, so technically the title wouldn't need to change, yeah. Um. Oh no, I just got home for a sit. Well, it, it, we'll we'll come back. We will come back. But anyway, we got ten minutes, so let's 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 use them. Uh, figured you would say no. At least the trailer, in regards to Sex in the City, I think is what this one's about. And just, uh, we are not the people to cover Sex in the City, right? <laughs> like, it would be weird. <laughs> it would be so. It's almost, it, we're almost so inappropriate for it, it would be interesting what we would have to say about sex and, and the city. Well, we just don't yeah. talk about that type of show, you know? Like, it'd be like yeah. a kind of gossip girl or something. It's like, I, I, I have, have no idea. That could be a, point of reference. a fun that project. Be Maybe that's where that we watch, be interesting. Yeah. We watch like one episode from the first season of random shows just to see what we think. Oh but yeah, nothing like, like wheelhouse style of uh, yeah. Yeah, no, nothing like a Breaking Bad or anything that's like known to be great. Just random shit, and then we just random shows. Yeah. Um, oop, don't make oop. me watch Terriers though. <laughs> I made you watch the first episode. It was already torture enough. Okay, I'd stop. Be, I look don't after do you it. these days. I gotta be. I won't, I refuse stuff. to watch any more of that garbage TV. <laughs> Well, it, it, like I said, I don't even want to watch, freaky watch Matrix Resurrections. It's just like, I don't like torturing people. It's not nice. Except when it's I, recorded. Yeah. You're like the person who asked us earlier, I've got free tickets to it, should I see it? And we're like, uh, mm. yeah, 17 <laughs> qualifiers, and then you know, maybe, you question mark? For free, just because you get something for free doesn't mean that you should. Yeah, like, you can chop your cock off for free, but you don't, don't do it. You don't have to do it. Is yeah. it free when you have to buy the knife, right? Well, generally, you already have knives. What about those who don't? You didn't account for them in your little, little fake old What little about world, those who live who live in knifeless worlds where they have no knives in their exactly. kitchen? Exactly. You lack empathy for those worlds. They have they have a they have cut free diets where they don't ever have to cut any food. Or they use like a saw. Oh, you need your saw to cut your cock off. You wouldn't need the knife then. Mm. Anyway, recently saw XQC lose his mind at the idea of somebody breaking down and wanting to go back to Korea. He thinks this girl is bringing the Black Death. I have no clue what you're talking about. Yeah, I very much lack the context to... I assume South Korea. Um, but I guess it would be crazy if you wanted to go back to North Korea. Um, yeah, I, again, I, don't I need way more know? information. Yeah, I don't know. I think XQC is like a streamer or something. Yes, but um, I don't know anything else about him. And I've always thought that name is terrible, but I'm assuming that's. It is a terrible point. name. Uh, I don't. I don't know anything about the Korean traveling back to Ness. I just don't no. know. My friend also told me Will Andrew and Toby be forgotten in their universes? And if not, will they forget Tom? Um. I don't think they're going to forget. I don't think I would imagine that they. I assume, it, assume it only applies to our world, and so that would be a cool way to get, um, you know, Tom some at least some people to know what, what some he's support. done. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I assume it only applies to Tom in Tom's world. Um, the yeah. story of a government using a crisis to gain emergency powers they'll refuse to give up sounds like something that happened. Can't imagine why. Are you referencing V for Vendetta? Oh no, wait, he's referencing the prequels probably. Yeah, I, I would imagine. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, yes, it's been done forever ago. Was... Please cover anime one day. Attack on Titan, Death Note, Monster, Vinland Saga. Avoid Dragon Ball. You guys watch Man, anime? Just, like, gross. Nope. Um, I don't watch Bits anime. and bobs. Uh, where we like some. It's two in the baboos. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they said it would be interesting. It's like, you know, just, who knows what'll happen one day. Which would you rather endure, Atla or the Clone Wars? Uh, Atla's shorter, as far as I know. The Clone Wars, I think? Well, 
If Atler is like a third of the length, I'm going with that. Oh yeah, if it's a third of the length, sure. Um, will y'all react to High Top's No Way Home video? That's like, the third uh, time. Yeah, and it's a, hey, maybe. Uh, it's well, yeah, it's looking want. like it, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Uh, hey Mola, tell Fringy I only watch movies on Betamax or Laserdisc. Oh man. All right, interesting. No. And happy holidays, gentlemen. Thank you very much. I wonder if there is, like, converters that exist for Betamax where you can put things onto There's gotta that be, right? format. I assume so. Uh, Marissa Tomei wanted to make Aunt May a lesbian. Yeah, I heard about that. And whenever they right. say stuff like that, I tune out. I'm just like, whatever. Wh I don't yeah, know. Whatever. Like, whatever. I just, yeah. Good luck with that. Okay. Have fun. Well. Aunt May needed to be a lesbian. I wanted her to be like, okie dokie. Okay. Miyamoto also turned Dinosaur Planet into Star Fox Adventures. Ah, uh, just, wow. I mean, letting go of Red just feels like one of those. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, well, because that was originally meant to be a uh, just its own little um, action adventure new IP. Uh, Crystal was not a Star Fox character. She was just going to be a character in this world. Whole new thing, and then they turn it to Star Fox. And I think that was the last game that Rare made for Nintendo before they got sold to Microsoft. Which, surely that has to stand as like one of the worst decisions Nintendo has ever made. I think so. Letting yeah. go of a, of a developer that had basically... There were not many developers in the 90s who so consistently put out great games as rare. To just let them go. They were pretty I don't rare. Get it. They were, and then they spent like the next 15 years toiling before they, I guess, made Sea of Thieves, which is like the first big, hey, rare, they're making something cool. And even then, when it came out, did not have a good rep. Um, that's definitely one of those turnaround live service things. Yeah. If it was um, like one of those big wins for Microsoft in terms of the amount of IPs they've got, like Perfect Dark, Battletoads, you just got a just bunch now, of killer especially. instincts. Well, they're now starting to, because they're rebooting Perfect Dark. I was like, yeah, it's probably a good idea to use that. They did a Battletoads game that I hear wasn't that great, but I guess you could try it again. Um, killer Instinct, you can do something with that. It's like, yeah, you get a lot of IPs by buying rare. Uh, over the over Christmas, I have, we had relatives come in, and I've got some younger um, nephews, and they play on consoles for the most part. And one of them brought his Xbox, and I just noticed he was he was playing Skyrim still, Man. and it was it made me think, damn, like it hasn't it has not hit people yet that that. The next Elder Scrolls and the Bethesda stuff will not be available on That's PlayStation. Microsoft. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's Microsoft stuff. It, and I, I think, uh, I think, I've said this so many times. I probably should talk about it more in depth, like in a video. I think Sony has kind of screwed themselves by like going so hard into third-person action adventure narrative-driven cinematic games that it's like, God damn, if you don't like that, why would you ever buy a PlayStation? Yeah, Conversely, if I was going to get a console, you bet your ass it'd be an Xbox. Yeah, like if, if I had no options in terms of getting a PC, uh, I think I'd go for an Xbox still just because it's like, well, also third party support is super strong. Like that's I guess like, just a variety of I how think, many things and the value of the Game Pass. And Game Pass. Yeah, like Nintendo, I, I think the Switch is, is like, if you have a PC and you get a Switch, it's like, that's a great combo. You get a lot. Oh, are we saying if we don't have a PC? If there's no PC, oh yeah, okay, if they yeah. don't exist. I'd get an Xbox. Sorry, I live in the oh, world yeah, of because... you know PC is just always there yeah. for us. Oh yeah, if I <laughs> I have a yeah if if because my PC is like it's got all the Xbox stuff on. Well, my PC is why I don't have an Xbox. Yeah, right, right. Uh, yeah, and you can say that's like, and I used to think that would be a bad business decision, but I'm happy to say that like yeah, that, that making... was I was I was totally wrong. Like that's that's uh that's doing well for them. Game yeah, Plus. I mean it's yeah it's Microsoft man they're making bank either way. Well yeah because it's it's um there are still going to be plenty of people who don't want to get a PC for whatever reason um and you know like I I think it's I oh it sounded like you had something to say there. No, it's just the one word. Oh, no. <laughs> I think uh right now it's not that great a prospect. What well, uh, no it's not true because you got all the games you get on Game Pass but like 
you give it a couple of years and like fable starts to come out and like perfect dark comes out and they start and you know like the next forza and the, the next elder and whatever scrolls, else they're working on elder scrolls next whatever Obsidian's making um because obsidian's making like they're making out of world like worlds 2 and they're doing like a new thing once you hey. start adding that up it's like hey do you like games that aren't third person action adventure games that are cinematic it's like, yeah, I do actually. Oh, well then, you just You're go over luck. to Xbox. And then there's, Sony there's like has just tied itself to like The Last of Us 2, you know? It's tied itself just... to that type of game. Yeah, where Absolutely. it's like misery porn. And I'm like, I just oh, don't want to play oh, that. I'm not going that far. I, I, I just, I'm pulling, pulling, pulling I'm not, back from not, that. Yeah, it's, yeah. The, it's the type so, of game. Because God of War falls the into the same game, thing. Yeah, the type of game that Sony makes is third person cinematic action adventure games. Uncharted is much more what I would say is like the archetype of what Sony does now. Because you know, yeah, you I'm not saying like, they're all like that. I'm saying that it's it gives that vibe. I don't think a lot it, no, of them I, are I think just wrong on that one. <laughs> that well, one wait. for that for that fucking game. Well, I agree with you on like The Last of Us Two. It's pretty misery porny, but um, yeah. you yeah. know, like God of War isn't at all. Uncharted as a Uncharted series hasn't isn't. been at all. Um, and, uh, and those are like the it's... those are the the main headers for Sony, right? In terms of that. Well, at this point, it's getting to a point where like Naughty Dog is actually kind of slipping away. It seems like Gorilla Santa Monica, uh, Sucker Punch, that like they're starting to sort of be vying for like I guess the top spot of like Sony Studios. Uh, and you know ma maybe maybe it would depend on whatever the next Uncharted thing is. But it is it is the problem is like last gen. There was all this discourse online about, you know, like, live service games and shitting on that. And it's like, you know, it's to be, like, live service, it's, there's a lot of bad live service games. But, like, it's almost like they've reached the point of, like, swearing off of multiplayer games as a thing. Like, they don't do multiplayer games. And a lot of people like to play multiplayer games. So, like, where is that market? Like, what, what are the Sony games that I can buy that are multiplayer? They don't exist anymore. And they used to exist. Like, Sony was way better in PS3 times. It was, like, a whole variety of games. You had... I mean, they didn't sell very well, like a lot of them, but like, you had, like, Twisted Metal. I remember there was, like, Starhawk or something that was, like, a multiplayer game. They mm -hmm. they made Little Big Planet as a series, was still more prominent back then. They had, like, racing games, like Little Big Planet Racing, Modern Nation Racing. And you had more variety in, like, this, you know, Infamous is, like, a third-person action-adventure game, but it was, a, it was definitely, like, a different style. It, it felt like it had much more of the, uh, the Sly Cooper... DNA in it in terms of like moving around yeah. and exploring this environment and I mean in terms of presentation so like there was a difference between God of War 3, Uncharted 2 and like Infamous that come out around the same time starting to converge a bit more and you know like that appeals to the audience that says it's like oh yeah greatness of waste you go wait for greatness we've just co-opted marketing jargon into our identity but if you don't like that you fucked like there's nothing you just gotta play, like, I guess, Call of Duty or something, and that's, like, your only choice. So I just wanna highlight, um, James Moore said, none of the three hosts here like the Clone Wars show. It's like, that is true. I don't think any of us have really seen it. I've seen all of season I really one. Seen it. I've seen, like, four seasons, but oh. I don't remember much about well, it. Well, but I think it's safe to say none of us like it. That's fine. Uh, I don't the response like to it, that yeah. was, yet yeah, they've played and loved the prequel games wild. It's not wild, they're video <laughs> games. They have I, gameplay mechanics that I like. Like, <laughs> oh yeah? They don't like rhubarb pie, but they like pizza. Huh. Yeah, it feels so wild. Why? Unbelievable. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, it's not about the era. We're, we're a fan of the era, you know? But then again, I'm not... Uh, you know, like, uh, eras are fine. It's really about the... You know? Um, yeah, I like plenty of the games set in the Clomos. Sorry, what if you want single player games only? I'd still, dude, like, the problem is that there's a lack of diversity in terms of, like, the gameplay that you're getting. Like, if you like single player, you, now with Microsoft, it's like, well, just wait for Elder Scrolls 6 to come out, wait for, like, Starfield to come out, wait for the next Obsidian things to come out. And plus, like, you're getting single player stuff in the games, like Halo and, and Gears of War and stuff like that. It's. I think that's the problem, is that there's this view of, like, yes, yeah, Sony, they care about single player experience. It's like, a certain type of single player experience, yeah. But if you're looking for like an RPG, what Horizon is not an RPG, it's an action game. It's got a skill tree. That's not RPG. What you know, like where do you get that experience? I guess because God of War probably had like RPG elements too, right? Yes, but they're elements. Yeah, yeah. Element. They're elements, not like an RPG. It's kinda like the 
A lot of people well, put those in games now just to seem like... Of course, stealth. We have stealth elements. It's like, okay, right, but there's a difference between, like, Uncharted stealth and Splinter Cell stealth. Yeah. They are not the same. One of these things is much better than the other. But unfortunately, we don't get stealth games anymore because of stealth elements. I, I am very much of that view that stealth elements have killed the stealth game. At least in the AAA space. It's fucking lame. Because I love stealth games. So much good stuff you can do with stealth games. Mm-hmm. <sighs> um... I guess, so, are we gonna stop there? Uh, um, have we caught up on everything from today, or...? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> How many more do we have today? Today's... Um... Probably more than 30 now. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> well, Rags, you're the determiner on this one, I guess. Well, I, I mean, I I would like to rest. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we could do, I guess, because we're going to be doing a stream tomorrow for this as well. And um, I guess it just depends on... I mean, I'm down to stop now and then do another one tomorrow. And then I can okay. rest before we do our Boba Fett show. All right. Well, okay. uh, the only other option is that you go rest now, and then me and Fringy just finish out of today's ones, and I'll save any that uh, direct at you. That's that's an option. If you want to, yeah. No, it shouldn't take us too long, and it's just nice so that we can square it off instead of me putting that in the title as well for the next one. Sure. Uh, so, um, what happens now? We'll you see you sleep. in uh, however many hours you want to sleep, I suppose. Uh, couple. Go for it. We'll see you then. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Two peep. Cheerio. All righty, let's do it. Huh. Yay! Also, I've never understood murdering the younglings. Shouldn't Palpatine convert the kids into Sith instead of murdering them outright? That's an interesting thought. Yeah. Would he not want to yeah, make that's... use of it? Because you wouldn't have thought they're too tainted at age six. Well, I mean, <laughs> like... if he didn't think Anakin was, you know. Yeah, we're gonna watch your... Yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah he's, he's practically a Jedi Master, and yeah, you're right. You know, you just have to make it... Tell the kids this the only way to save their families or some shit, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um... Look about the children. You off their parents, and by that, you validate their need for vengeance. Imagine if Abby didn't kill Ellie after she killed Joel. Oh, you're saying... You're suggesting that, like, it's probably a bad move to leave them alive? The children, so you gotta get because you know, I, I would just say that, yeah, probably don't get Anakin to do it though. Mm -hmm. Like, if we're gonna go with um, it only made sense that Palpatine kills them, ignoring that argument that was just made, um, or countering it, I still don't see why Anakin is the one that does it from his character. And to be fair, if you were Palpatine. You know the, the two jobs of wiping out the Jedi and wiping out children? I'd be like, oof, I don't know if Anakin will go for them. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe make the clones just do all that. Uh, wiping out the Separatist leaders? I think that would have been a good step for being like, hmm. When they're all surrendering and cowering and stuff. Um, the Sand People chose the wrong side. True. Literally just have it to where the Tusken children pick up the guns and Anakin is forced to kill them because he won't stop, easy. No, just don't, no, just don't do it. Don't need to have children in that camp. That camp is a military one or something. Yeah. I say military, like militia, whatever the fuck. You just don't need to have children there. It can be an outpost. Why do we need to find ways to just get it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, I don't get it. Just thing, don't do it. If you wipe out the whole temple, of which there are younglings in it. It's like, yeah, I guess we have to account for that. But with the, the Tuscans, we can just be like, no, it's just a group they kidnapped here. And they were on their way back, and they don't take children on their scouting missions, which makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, sorry, can't stay because I need footage of Andy Circus for my video. It's about visual effects. Being honest for a second, I love you guys. Just talking, uh, taking my super chats brings me happiness. Oh. Well, I'm glad that it does, I suppose, and good luck with whatever you're up to there. Uh, once all the tribe raiders and hunters are killed, the survivors would be enslaved or killed by another tribe or starve to death. Warfare with tribes in the desert was brutal in the American West. 
If you're arguing that he killed them because they would have had bad Out lives, of mercy. Like, yeah, that's, that would have that's to be absurd. not only stated, but uh, addressed emotionally. It seems to me that he's just sad that he killed them. Like, not that he's like, it I had to. It definitely doesn't seem like he said, you know what, I had to do this because otherwise you guys would have been in a lot of trouble. Besides, right. like, yeah, if, if that were his true goal, I doubt he'd kill them. He'd probably grab them all up, take them somewhere. I don't know. He'd try and help them. I don't like, see what, like... What, what, what is this, <laughs> like, justification? They would have had a tough life, so he killed them to spare them from that misery. It is funny. I, the I can argue. I knew this would happen. I just, it's just, they're interesting. Also, I have to clean the theaters by myself during this crisis. Everything changed when the Spider-Man attacked. I can imagine, yeah, you must have gotten a lot busier with uh, the Spider-Man mm -hmm. showings. Uh, first episode of Boba was not very good. Well, uh, well we shall see it soon enough. Mm -hmm. Obi-Wan killed her for killing the Republic with her horny. That makes sense. That's, uh, that's, that's she didn't die of sadness. He killed her. He, uh, he crushed her heart or something. He did something that made her die right. without it being detectable. Yeah, whatever that means. Yeah, like, whatever, whatever it would be to do I don't do even that. understand what that means in terms <laughs> of just bodily functions that you just cease to exist. <laughs> um, Quinton, get the frack to bed now, Owly, TBLS. Does that make any sense to you? No, I, I lost. I am lost on the reference to that, whatever that may be. Uh, before you go, I get to finally say EFAP on my birthday. Hi, Rags, and have a good nap. Oh, well. Happy birthday, dude. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we we try and get around to everyone in chat's birthdays. We're getting there. Getting there. Well, I mean, in, uh, I guess after, like, what, like, seven or eight years, it will just natural. Oh, wait, no, because of leap years, it will skip a bunch, so. We're probably doing take, okay. Like, we probably hit quite a few yeah. days. And plus extra streams. And every year, you know, it keeps cycling, so yeah, I feel like we'll get mm -hmm. there. Give us time. We'll at least hit like 90% plus. We're gonna get there. Yeah, unless we all just, unless the world ends like all of a sudden from a gamma ray burst. Which would be lame, because the universe should respect. We are trying to get E5 episodes out on everyone's birthdays. Yeah. Stupid universe. Go. But thank you very much. Um, Meowth learned to talk through hard work, lol. <laughs> That's kind of disturbing, isn't it? What, that through hard work that any Pokemon can learn how to speak? And maybe have a little more autonomy. Isn't that just great? Personal responsibility. He's been reading Jordan Peterson's book. Oh, I just, just the second they figure it out, and you're like, yay, and they're like, so... I'm not a fan of Pokeballs. Of, of, I'm not a fan <laughs> of this this whole thing you do where you make us fight to the death for your amusement. You know that we have feelings, right? And you can tell that they've been... I don't know, like preparing the speech for a while because they're just like, look, yeah, I know you think I'm really cute, but yeah. this is fucked, man. You gotta let me go. Like, you gotta. You know how like you got chickens, presumably in the Pokemon world, unless they eat Pokemon, I guess. Do they eat Pokemon? Um, they ate slow poke tails in the gold and silver, right? They found a place oh, that was eating no. slow poke tails, but I can't remember if that oh, was considered villainous God. in the game. But just to draw attention to that as a thing, you know? Well, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's like that, uh, that ego raptor. All you feed me is puffins! <laughs> I need nourishment! Tourist meat or something! We don't- we don't kill Pokemon! We do! We do it for you, you <laughs> fucking asshole! God damn it! Fuck you, you stupid evolved prick! Oh, I guess you got Those Miltank milk is uh, at least the first step, right? So they d they do milk at poke fucking hell. <laughs> Can you imagine factory farms of Pokemon? Miltanks. <laughs> yeah. Getting milk. Yeah. Zigzagoon fur. You know, oh, fur is murder. <laughs> they throw blood, zigzagoon blood at them. Or Bidoof. <laughs> fucking Bidoof, man. <laughs> like, at least Zigzagoon has a neatness to him. Fucking Bidoof. <laughs> I'd imagine Magikarp gets fried up a lot by people. Probably. Uh, he's he's defenseless, but then when he turns into Gyarados, like, he evolves <laughs> as he's being stewed. Oh, God. <laughs> Gyarados is like, So, you like to eat Gyarados, eh? <laughs> 
I, I guess it wouldn't end with well have all of the Gyarados in the world, though. Is it Gyarados or Gyarados? It's Gyarados, right? I say Gyarados. Well, I... It, you're right, it is Gyarados. Why am I saying Gyarados? What happened? I, I don't know. It's I, just, I don't want to... Like, Pokemon names are things I'm very just... Like, because you... I say Zapdos, not Zapdos. Right. It's, it's always hard, because you kind of got to default to whatever the Pokemon... You know, like Yoshi. Well, where everyone except us two are wrong. Yeah. <laughs> wow, seems that way. Um, about Aunt May getting up after that glider, I've seen two separate videos on Live Leak where people got cut in half by a goddamn train. The force of these trains was enough to sear the wound they caused, so the victims didn't bleed out immediately. It took like two minutes. Despite these men missing everything beneath their ribcage, they still tried crawling around and even tried to stand up straight with their stump. To conclude, I can absolutely believe Aunt May was being able to get up and walk around for a little while, or a while uh, before the glider burst her insides. Like I said, it's, it's not any trouble for me at all. I, I see it. No. And um, I see it's just, she's got an adrenaline burst, she's going to make sure uh, Peter's okay. She even talks to him because he's feeling pretty, uh, you know, unsure of himself at that point. And then as soon as they realize they can start getting out of there, the... Uh, the acknowledgement that she's actually probably dead it starts to dawn on her, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, like, it's to... not that hard for me to believe that somebody has been mortally wounded and can still, like, persist for a little bit. I don't, yeah, I I mean, don't need to be convinced of that. Humans can, uh, can definitely, like, I've seen, um, I, 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 don't, I don't know if it's a YouTube video or a lively video, but there was a guy who got, like, hit by a car and I think flipped like 20 times while in the air and until he came back down got up straight away and was like whoa um and i think i think he died he had like everything had ruptured inside but um it's like one of the most like whoa um humans are weird we do some weird stuff but uh i don't know that i think that's that weird she only lasted what like a minute something like that yeah Um, yeah, because uh, I remember when I found out, I think it was through House or something else, but, like, there are things as well of women who, like, in car accidents have the strength to move cars because of uh, stuff kicks in for their children. I think there's a name for it, but I don't know what it is. Yeah. Uh, Cooper and the others are from Paper Mario. No misspellings right. here, you massives. Fair enough. Because Paper Mario games had, like, unique characters like Goombas who helped you out and little Yoshi guy who would help you out. I need to play that game. I really want to play Thousand Year Door. Mm -hmm. uh, look up okay. Tuscan women and children. Trust me, it's uh, NTK. NTK? Do you know what that sounds for? I have no idea. Oh man, I'm just seeing like, because I was just I was just curious if I could make sense of it from an image. But this is an image for a Tuscan uh, child. And it's just like, do you really picture Attica just slaying all of them but that being a character? No way. No. no way. No way. Um, I hate them. Only reason I can see for Anakin doing the killing is that they know him, and they'll be off guard. Still retarded, Anakin should have brought them uh, to Palpatine, and Palpatine should have dealt with them, converting the ones he can and executing the rest, and maybe don't tell that to Anakin either. Yeah, I see that as way more reasonable and interesting as well. Uh, what do we need is for Sand People to have an Uncle Ben for Anakin to kill so Spider-Man is good. <laughs> Seems about right, yeah? Lines up. Um. Do, do, do. Human intercourse, marry, kill, and befriend. Hulk, a bee, a Hulk-sized bee, and a bee-sized Hulk. I guess I'm befriending Sorry, the that's... Hulk. I guess it's probably worthwhile to befriend the Hulk, yeah. Then a Hulk-sized bee, probably gonna kill, 
if it's yeah, not already it dying small. itself because it won't be able to exist at that. Spike cube law. Yeah. Yeah. A B-sized Hulk. Um, I don't know what that really. I guess I'll marry that one. And then what's the remaining one? A B. I gotta have intercourse with a B. Um, probably not. No. Thanks. Then the only the only ones viable for intercourse would be the Hulk. So I just, just, uh, that's the best I, I can do as an that. answer. That's yeah. Um, These are not great choices. Can Fringy Plush have Ball Above Wang badge on it? Did we? Was there a badge for that? I think it's because now they've got those new little felt things, right? But I figured people would want like goo in a little bottle. Oh yeah. As like the the felt attachment. Well, but I don't even know what the image would be for Ball Above Wang badge. No, I I don't know. And also maybe that's not even allowed. Maybe. <laughs> Um, I would write it where Palpatine orders Anakin to bring him the younglings under some false pretense and then kills them to send a message. It's the only kind of solution I can come up with where we can keep the children massacred while keeping characters intact. I personally feel Palpatine would not want too many potential threats to his rule as Emperor. The ones we suggested I still think are slightly better than that, where uh, Anakin sees them and he can't go through with it, closes the doors and hopes that they'll sort of remain a secret comes back to them later and finds they've all been slaughtered by the clones. Or, if that seems a little too, like, foolish on his part, could just be that he walks out of the room to see clone troopers entering it and just lets it happen and walks away. Um, I think that's way more in character than him slaying them himself. But um, I think we, if we were allowed to rework it, we'd be reworking a lot of it because um, it's, like, the most important part of the three prequels. You don't want to fuck that up. Um, I was injured as a kid, but didn't realize it. My sister stepped in the blood and thought she was hurt. I tried to help her till we realized it was me. Yeah, injuries are strange. It just happens where people don't realize that they've been hurt. Yeah. Well, that was the part I appreciated about it as well. Her blood on his hand, she said, are you okay? Mm hmm That scene made me sad. Yes, it did. Me also, I mean. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like, you were there in the cinema watching me. Yeah, like, no, it did make sad. you sad. Um, and yeah, so we've caught up with today's ones, which means, Yay. for now, we'll say goodbye. We'll, um, apparently yep. in around two hours, we'll be watching The Book of Boba Fett. Okey and then, dokey. you'll see us tomorrow. For a catch-up stream as well, everybody. Um, we did catch oh, up boy. a little bit today, so there's that. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, for three hours, that's not bad, I guess. Yeah. The, um, I just, I guess, we probably would hope to catch up more, but, you know. Well, whatever we didn't get to do today, we will do tomorrow. It'll be great. Uh, yeah. Thank you all for hanging out. Thank you very much for the donations. And we shall Thanks. see you next time. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.